I'm thinking about you. You know, no, no. I've been thinking about you. You know, no, no. Hi, everyone. How are you? Hi, Cloud. Hi, Callus. Hi, Jeans. Hi, Anime. Hi, Platypus. Hi, Dav. Hi, Midnight. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, did I miss anyone? Hi, Jim. I didn't miss anyone, right? Your smooch? Mwah. The dangling feeties give you... Oh, my God. I like putting my feet like... I don't know if you... Can you see in the mirror? I like... Instead of like putting my feet like this sometimes, I like to cross my feet like this. It feels good. Thinking about you, you know, no, no. I've been thinking about you, you know, no, no. What do you mean, Callus? What's the hard part? Do ya, do ya. Hi, Louie. How are you? Kyle's, do you want to talk about it on stream? I don't care. <laughs> you lied about the stream time. You lied about your water. You lied about your wealth. <laughs> is that is that supposed to be to the uh, Kendrick Lamar <laughs> euphoria? <laughs> I feel like I feel like Emerald Kaizo is not as hard as uh emerald kaizo is not as hard as as run and bun if i was to play a game i would play run and bun surely hi am we're back yeah um i took a couple nights off i streamed on i streamed on thursday when did i stream what did I stream exactly? Beat Ren Platt first? Yeah, I know. Jim is just saying Kaizo, but I would not. I would do probably Run and Bun over Kaizo. Did I stream Thursday morning? Yeah, right? Yeah, I, I, I think I streamed Thursday morning. And then, um, or was it Thursday? Yeah. Yeah? When the f*** did I stream? Hold on. Um, July 18th. Yeah, it was. So I, I streamed Thursday morning. Um, and then I, I spent like, you know, obviously I had my, uh, my emotions, um, spilt over into stream a little bit. Um, so I, I kind of like, I, I took a couple nights off, so I took, I took, you know, I took, well, I guess technically I took Thursday night off and Friday night off, um, just because, I don't know, I, I, I fixed my sleep schedule, I'd been waking up at like 10 a.m. the past couple of days, so that's nice. I fixed my sleep, and also over the course of the, the last couple of days, I've been continuing to reach out to people. I've been continuing to mend relationships and connect with people. So it's just been like, it's been a really nice last couple days. Um, and it's just been, I think it was good for, for my brain and good for, you know, just everything to take a couple, a couple days off. I did, I've done a lot of crying over the past couple, three, two, three days. Um, I've done a lot of, a lot of reconnecting. I've done a lot of mending, like literally, literally I've reached out to probably tw like, I, I don't even know the exact number, 20, 20 plus people. And every single, every single interaction, every single person responded. And it was a positive experience besides one person. And even then it wasn't like a negative, like fight or something. They just chose not to respond, which is, you know, that's their choice. Um, but literally 
every other person responded every time it was a positive experience every single person it was it was just nice to to speak with people reconnect and it, it's been really good um and i'm really i'm really happy that i came to i'm really happy that i came to the realization that i did and i'm really happy that i chose to do this you know reaching out to people apologizing um you know it, it's going to it's going to help my mental health even more it's going to help me you know you know possibly become friends with people that i haven't been friends with for a while um and yeah it's just it's just really good it's really good i'm glad i did it and thank you for bearing with me these past couple of nights because um you know i don't usually like to take nights off of streaming i like to stream every day but you know obviously for stuff like this it's um it was a good thing I don't understand why you'd go live mid conversation. I'll be quiet. Do you want to talk about it on stream, Cal? Is that okay? Nothing harder than Rocket League. So true. Did I say hi to you, M? Hi, M. That's awesome. Thank you, Jeans. I never apologized to you. Like, on a mending is such a nice word. It is. Hi, Roxanne. Thank you. Thank you. Like, like you know, I, you know, as y'all saw, as y'all saw on stream, um, I was obviously having a, um, I was having a tough time. And it's, it, like I said, that continued for the next couple of days. But like, it's, it, it was like, I was really emotional. But it was like a good emotional, you know, it was like a positive reconnecting with people and just kind of, just kind of, you know, acknowledging your own faults and acknowledging your own mistakes and acknowledging and just trying to work on being better. It, it hurts. It, it's, it's not, it wasn't easy, um, which obviously is why I was very emotional about it. Um, but it's necessary, if, you know, like I, like I was saying, if I want to be a better person and if I want to continue to grow, it's something that, um, is it, it's something that I need to continue, continue to do. Hi, Scopes. How are you? Shut up, play the game. I'll be quiet. I don't care. I just need help. I got you. We'll talk about it in a second, Kaz. I love... Dude, your kitten is so cute. The more slanderous sign, the better. I got you. No troll shit. Are you transitioning to a woman? Woman? Um... That's not really like a a normal thing to just say to someone, right? It's kind of weird. Hi, Finesse. How are you? Apologize for the 7 a.m. stream. I'll be quiet. Oh, no, but like on a serious note, Gim, um, you are someone that like I... What a remarkably odd question. That is a really... That's like... like that's a really strange thing to just say to someone out of the blue, right? Like, it's not something that I have trouble talking with. And we talk about queerness and all that stuff all the time. You know, my personal relationship with it and just in general. But it is a very strange thing to just say to someone out of the blue. Like, that's not, that's not a normal, that's not a normal question to just ask someone. <laughs> What would be the proper way to phrase that question? I don't think there is a proper way to phrase it. I think when you just come out of the blue and say that, that's not like, like think of it this way. Would you just like, would you just walk up to someone IRL and be like, hey, are you trans? Like, no, like that's, <laughs> that's not how that situation should work. Oh, look. Uh, do you want me to grab it for you, Jeans? I can tell you. I got you. Uh, 
Uh, uh. Come on, focus, bitch. Pacific Blue. Uh, it's 479 Pacific Blue. I don't, I don't know why. I got you. How does one approach that question if it was genuine one out of curiosity? Well, like, why are you curious about someone's medical info? Like, uh, hell yeah, Fugu, rip that shit. Is that my A7 TV? Oh, it's Tina? Of course it's Tina. Of course it is. Like, I should, like, push you and stream. Do it. Like, you should stream. If you want to stream, stream. Get in there. Do it. Have fun. Like, really. Like, there's no reason not to, right? It's been 16 minutes. Relax. Hey, let's go, Finesse. W. I got you. No problem, Jeans. What's up, Razix? Um, not exactly. Redemption. So, like, I, I'm trying to think of a situation in which that's like not like kind of strange. Like, you should you should never be walking up to like a random stranger or like a random person and being like hey are you trans like that's that's you know no matter how you phrase that it's gonna be a weird question and not a normal thing to ask someone um like i feel like that is just something you learn about someone or they would tell you you know i i don't think that's like I, I like that's something that someone would tell you when they trust you and like trust that like you know are okay with divulging stuff to you. Um, I don't really think that's a question that, like, is normal, you know? Either either someone is, like, incredibly, like, forward and open about it, which, again, is their choice. But, like, you know, in general, that's kind of, like, weird. Like, maybe, like, a way to a way to phrase it. Like, if you're talking to someone you don't know, it could be, like, hey, like, um, or maybe you could say, like, if you're introducing yourself or something, you could say, like, hi, I'm Redemption, my pronouns are he, him, or something, and then they would also tell you their pronouns, more than likely, or, like, I don't know, like, there's ways to, like, do it, there's ways to, like, ask stuff, I guess, like that, in, like, a normal way, um, but in general, I don't know if that's, like, a, a normal, I don't think there's, like, many situations at all, which that would be, like, a normal question to like say to someone or ask someone you know because at the end of the day like it's not unless you're like in a personal like sexual relationship with someone or like in like a you know romantic relationship with someone i don't think that's really like your business to know or if you were like close friends with them you know there's that too The question is just invasive and basically you should ask if you're pretty close to someone and they know you're a safe space. Exactly. That's also true. You have to keep in mind that like that is also something that you want to make sure it's like a safe space and stuff too because not everyone reacts the same way to to the answer to that question, you know? Yeah, it actually is crazy. Like why the fuck is Argentina so racist? Talking about it politely, I'd say assign gender at birth. It's not It's more bull. I don't know. I don't like, I don't think like, I don't think like, you know, asking, I don't know of any country or whatever that'd be normal to ask. I think that's someone that, like I said, I feel like that's something that someone would be like comfortable to like come forward and talk about themselves if they like trusted you or wanted to divulge that information. 
like I said, if you if it was like gonna be like a sexual like hookup or relationship or just like a you know if you were like good friends with someone stuff like that. You're poking fun. Well, no, I don't think it's a meme. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, like, a lot of people say that, like, Argentina is just, like, kind of racist in general. It's, like, really, it's, like, really sad because, like, obviously I love Messi. Um, and obviously I've, mess I've never seen or heard anything about Messi being racist. But it's really unfortunate that, like, Argentina, I've heard some very not-so-good things about um Poland Poland banned Muslims like actually there's some shit like that This is a banger callus It's extreme X like the letter X extreme Messi is racist If there was actually if there was like actually stuff that came out about Messi being racist or whatever I would be really sad I would be like really, really sad and he would no longer be my goat. And obviously for a good reason. I wouldn't I would never like I would never consider like a racist my goat. But I've never heard anything about Messi being um racist or anything which is obviously good so let's just cope that would be very depressing if that's the case Emmanuel I don't know that would be really depressing. Dude, that song that they were singing isn't only racist, but it's like transphobic too. Because isn't there a line about how like making fun of Mbappe for dating a trans woman as well? If, if your religion is Muslim, you can't go to Poland. What's weird is they never had a bombing next to a world war. I think... It's just like an unfortunate reality that a lot of nations and a lot of places are very Islamophobic and they, a lot of people, a lot of very radical people, you know, extremist people will, um, they will use examples of radical religious people and they will, they will generalize it for the whole population, which makes no sense because People never do that with Christianity, but they always do it with, like, Islam, which makes no sense. Because there's... Look at all, like, the school shooters, and look at all, like... Look at all the school shooters, and look at all the psychopaths that are literally, like, Christian nationalist extremists. Yet, in those cases, it's always, oh, just a, just a lone psycho, just a, you know, just a crazy person, just a this, just a that. Never is it about Christianity. But when it's someone who happens to be Muslim and does something insane like that, for some reason it's, you know, it's about Islam and, and how Islamic people are terrorists or whatever. It's like, how does that make any sense? It's, I mean, I think we all know the reason for that, and it's because they're brown people from the Middle East, and people are racist. Are they new glasses? No, they're not new. I've had these for a little while now. They're, like, relatively new. I got them a couple months ago. That's so sad, Emmanuel. I know. I think we should vote... I think we should invade Poland's airspace with tactical nukes. Okay. Um, no. Australia is fucked Islamophobic. So is America. It's really bad. So three accredited Pentagon sources confirm meetings between Eisenhower, USR, USR reps, and, and aliens. Thoughts? There's no way, really? School shooters are only in America? No, exactly. 
school dude there are some school shooters who literally have manifestos that like literally saying like i'm a christian nationalist i'm i the, they're ta they talk about the great replacement theory they literally talk about how people like tucker carlson and shit like inspired them it's happened multiple times they're saying they're doing it in the name of uh, you know in the name of like you know white nationalism and and you know not letting not letting people like you know these people uh overtake our country is there someone oh can you y'all can see Slee, can you hold on <laughs> oh, yeah you can you can see Slee. yeah Slee's uh Slee's behind me sleeping Harry Potter, these aren't Harry Potter glasses, what the hell? Yeah, it's Slee, she's sleeping on the bed behind me, sorry. I know, I no, to be fair, I literally told her before I went live, I said, hey, if you sleep on that side of the bed, you're gonna be on stream. And she said, that's okay, I don't mind. I didn't kill Slee, what the hell? Hi, Smack. Oh, what I was, let me finish what I was going to say. Gim, you're still here, right? Yeah. Gim, I was just going to say, like, you're you're another person. Like, you're you're another person, and you're not the only person that, like, I still need to apologize to. You're absolutely someone that I've been overly aggressive with and been overly angry with and, you know, lashed out at you with anger and just lashed out at you unfairly for like when you're just trolling and making jokes and stuff like that and like i like i was talking about uh, sometimes i i do and i'm still working on it i have a really sometimes i have a hard time like i'll i'll be angry about something else or i'll be angry at someone else or whatever and i i i like redirect that anger and I lash and give it to people and lash out who don't deserve it, you know, especially when they're just trolling or messing around. And and I, I really do apologize for that, Kim. And you're not the only person I still need to apologize to. You're, you're like, like, I really do appreciate you sticking around and supporting me through all this time. And, you know, I, I know it's never gotten to a point like where like I've like screamed at you or we've gotten to like a big fight or something, but it doesn't mean I, I I shouldn't apologize for for times where I I, I absolutely unfairly um, was rude to you. So um, yeah, just you know, thank you for you know sticking around even when I was unfairly rude and stuff. Oh, are you Portuguese? I'm, Port I'm half Portuguese. My mom's an immigrant from Portugal. How do I say that? Is it paella? Is it like that? Um, I'm half Portuguese, yeah. But yeah. I mean, there, there's probably more people that I need to apologize to, and, and, I, and I will continue to do it over time. It's just... You know, I, I'm. Hey, it's me, Goku. My apology, my apology tour isn't over. Your dad's a better immigrant. What does that mean? Thank you for the follow, RBZ. I appreciate you. I'm goaded for saying shit like this on stream just to fill an apology. Not everyone can. Um, I've apologized and mended with a lot of people over the past three days, so I feel like it's getting easier for me to just like open up and say this stuff. Uh, it's just i don't know i i really do like you know i really do feel really badly for how i've treated people and even people that i'm friends with or close to in the past and it's just yeah it's just not fair it's not fair how i can be i can like like i said just lash out in anger um hey i appreciate you thank you get some good sleep um <laughs> Shut the hell up, Callus. <laughs> but yeah, it's just really unfair that I've lashed out in anger at so many people and people that like I'm friends with and close to just absolutely don't deserve that. Um, and I, I know I'm gonna continue to do a better job. 
Um, I'm going to continue to do a better job at controlling my emotions and uh, not redirecting my anger and making sure that um, I just do a better job at treating the people that I care about and people close to me in a way that is more fair and yeah just doing a better job and trying to be a better person in general and just I want to have a more positive relationship with my friends and people that I'm close to going forward is I don't know it I, I'm sad that it's taken me so long to come to this realization and sad that it's taken me this many years to to kind of like take a step back and, and whatever to realize all this stuff but I'm glad I I'm glad I did it you know better late than never I guess I, I've mended a lot of relationships I've apologized to a lot of people and yeah I'm just really grateful that there are people that have stuck by me and people that have accepted my apology and um yeah I just have I have a lot of really good friends and I have a lot of really good people that have been around me and even if they haven't been around me for a while I have a lot of good people that I've met over the years that have you know continued to support me and um yeah I'm just really grateful I'm a clean slate you can go right ahead <laughs> your first number one I had to put it in your hand what is that parking authority on their way handbrake on car <laughs> on park <laughs> oh my god 1v1 growth is s tier i'm doing my best i really am and i look forward to continuing to grow i don't want to be i don't want to be complacent i always want to be better going forward okay cali let's talk about your your girl situation now okay so what is what is it that you'd like me to respond to Like, like I said, I've taken these last couple nights off and I've continued to talk to people and, and cry and reconnect and mend. And um, I'm definitely doing a lot better emotionally than I was, um, you know, when it first started. I'm obviously not, you know, I can talk about this stuff without crying. Um, and I'm just kind of like feeling, I'm feeling a lot better about it because I've reconnected with so many people. And I'm feeling a lot better about it because I've already mended so many relationships and it's been a good thing. Um, so yeah. That gameplay screen can fit in your forehead. Sorry, yeah, this is a just chatting stream with a little bit of Rocket League. Can you pin it? I actually could. That I do. I do have a. Um, I do have a. Uh, a like application that can can pin it to my forehead so it like moves with me. <laughs> I have it, but I don't know how to set it. Well, I don't know how to like fully set it up, and I, I definitely don't want to sit here and do it on stream. Rocket League on the forehead. Honestly, low key, I should pin it to my forehead. So every time I go to this scene, it's just on my forehead. That'd be kind of funny. Michael Jackson, what? Emmanuel always loves when I'm not playing the game. Emmanuel. See, the thing is, Emmanuel's a double-edged sword. If I'm playing Rocket League, he says, get the fuck off this shit game. This game sucks. Play a real game. But when I'm not playing Rocket League, he says, please, for the love of God, play a game. I'm sick of this. It's, it's a double-edged sword. You have to understand. There's no winning here. <laughs> it's not...
weed time, you're gonna smoke? Or are you saying I, sh I should do weed time? Your boy hit a new- Y'all, let's go, Redline. W. Happy for you. Play Elden Ring? No. It's time for you to W. Let's go. You got some? I should smoke. I do enjoy cannabis, and I will smoke in the future, but I am currently on a- on, I'm on a weed break currently, so... It's- I'm not gonna be smoking for- for- for a little- like, a little while. Um, I plan on taking like a two or three month break, and I'm only- I'm only a week and a half in, so... I have, uh... I have quite a bit of time to go, unfortunately. Proud of me? Thank you, thank you. Um, I- I like to- you know, I, I'm always one to take breaks, and I, I like to to give myself time off of, of cannabis. As much as I love cannabis, I also like to have a healthy relationship with it and, you know, make sure I take time off of it. So, don't worry. I will be smoking again. I will be enjoying cannabis, but I'm in the middle of a break and, uh, you know, just giving, giving my body some nice rest time. Let's go, Platypus W. T a tea blocker, tea break, tea blocker. What's the difference? I'm taking a tea break, uh, and it's for life. And it's not THC. Next time you do a weed, bro, next time, bro, after my two, three month break, the first time I smoke, I'm literally going to be on Mars. I am going to be on a different planet. Did you know if you have, if we have any potential gamers? Vekid said he's not playing threes. He's getting uh, SSL rewards in twos. And I don't see anyone else on that like I regularly game with, so. You can't have a healthy relationship with it. Yes, you can. You are definitely capable of doing it. Don't say that. Wait, Louie, take a- you can take a video, you don't even have to show your face if you don't want to. Just take a video, like, from, like, the mouth down of, like, you ripping the piece. I'll, I'll watch it on stream, if it has good ASMR. What do you do? It's okay, Redemption. We'll, we'll see, if someone hops on, just make sure you're around in case I start queuing at someone or someone hops on. Because I'm- I'm ha more than happy to play threes. With a three stack. Callus, what is the last thing that you said that I need to, like, respond to? I'll say, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Emmanuel. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. I was just talking, I was just talking about how I've been doing a lot of crying the past three days and, and how it's, it's been an overall, it's been tough, but it's been an overall good experience and I've been, like, reconnecting with a lot of people and, um, even though it's been a lot of tears, it's been overall a good thing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Maybe once you're mentally stable. I mean, like, yeah, like, obviously, I, I know you have to also, I mean, I'm not your fucking therapist, and I'm not going to tell you exactly how to live your life. But sometimes you have to think about, like, what, you know, like, why are you using weed the way you're using it? What are you using it to, like, cover up and mask, you know? Some people use it as, like, a crutch. Hi, poops. Hi, Kronos. You wish you could smoke, but your job doesn't allow it? That's so dumb, because I bet your job allows you to fucking, like, drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes, doesn't it? Very dumb. I don't know. I was getting to bed. Callus, just look back at our DMs and tell me, um, tell me what you want me to, like, respond to. I got you. Hey, Emmanuel, say what you want about me, but like, I've been in multiple relationships and I know how to, I know how to talk to people. I know how to like navigate stuff like that. I feel, I like to think that like, I like to think that like, you know, over my years of like studying people, I have a pretty good handle on how to like talk to them and stuff. Better to let those tears out than keep it in. You'll feel better. Exactly, Jan. Exactly. It's better. It's better to let the tears out. 
Um, it's better to let the tears out in the long run. Like you said, you're right. You sent it in food and drink. You should have just sent it in show off, but I got you. I said something and then you started streaming and didn't answer. Yeah. Okay. I'll look callous. I'll, I'll look right now. I use it in a way so my brain doesn't work anymore to forget trauma. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a very normal thing. Um, honestly, if, if you do want to perhaps try to get a better relationship with cannabis, you know, again, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice, but I do think, I do think it could be worth, I do think it could be worth, you know, um, maybe, maybe like trying to take a short tolerance break from marijuana, cannabis, whatever, and maybe seeking, seeking therapy in the meantime. And maybe you should actually talk to your therapist about it too, you know, and, and ask them what they think and whatever. Um, about about cannabis and using it for for trauma yo what the dismal what's up holy shit how are you wait by the way y'all look look at my hair can you see it, it might be a little bit messed up because i was laying down but can you see the braid can you can you see Yo, thanks for the follow again, Dismal. I appreciate you. Smack the mic with it. Wait, could, can you see it? Does it look good still? It might be messed up. <laughs> Dude, are you from the fucking medieval times? Oi! What are thy pronouns? <laughs> that's fucking awesome <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> hi hannah how are you damn brother got a couple bitches now pound it my dude w riz um hold on i gotta check callus's dm real quick so i can respond to it and then we're gonna watch uh louis louis bong rip okay um yeah Dude, Callus, you literally, Callus, you know she likes you, and, like, you have the go-ahead, like, get in there, just be yourself, be yourself, you got this. Like, I know it's hard, and it's gonna be, like, your first time, but, like, you know, even if, put it this way, even if it fails, then, like, at least you have that experience. I need to quit my home my new mage had time to smoke less. I worked this all already, but for at least a few years, I just can't get a healthy relationship with the greens. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, it might be in your best interest to just quit. Um, it might be in your best interest just to quit for the meantime. And put it this way, you don't have to go cold turkey. You know, it, you don't have to do the hardest way. You could always just, like, slowly taper off on your usage. And that's that's a valid way to do it, too. You don't gotta You don't got to do it all at once. Um, redeem the scream as loud. Oh my, yeah, it'd be the perfect time to do it so I can wake Shlee up. Yeah, okay. Thy aura giveth much shame. All right, hold on. Be yourself. I mean, no, it's not. Callus, Callus, you are, do you play Valorant? If so, pick an agent. I do play Valorant sometimes, and I would say my favorite agent that I've used the most is probably Reyna. Okay, hold on. Let's watch this bong rip ASMR. Ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's, for the stream, let's go. Hell yeah, hell yeah, mate. Let's go. That was awesome. That's a one hit. -a. That's a one hit. -a. Callus, no matter what you say about yourself, you are a funny person 
you have a good personality and you're just fun to talk to and clearly clearly they also see that in you you know i think i think you're funny i think you you're just in general like nice to be around so i i think you're being a little bit too hard on yourself gonna eat some edibles later today and smoke the fuck out of me get in there hi xylo how are you you picked one of the one of the three I don't have. You're just gonna play Deadlock. Deadlock is fine. Now that Dismal is back, we can finish our Slingshot Terraria run. Dude, I'm so happy like that Dismal is back, and I've reached out to people and apologized. Uh, I mean, I don't want to like keep talking about it all stream because we already started stream talking about it, but like it really warms my heart and makes me so happy that like I've just i don't know reached out and apologized and just kind of figured all this stuff out i'm just really happy that like like i genuinely think that part of what's been helping me is is working out is drinking more water working out drinking more water getting my sleep in order um you know obviously taking a break from weed is good for me too um watching what i eat has been really nice I, i've been like you know on my on my weight diet grind uh just all that stuff has been really positive for me and i think it helps Suck, sunken cones oh we yeah, are let's go louis um We get rid of mods, but LMA... Wait, LMAO is an emote? Wait, where? It is? I don't see it, Scopes. You're going to throw a flashbang? Wait, why, Emmanuel? Don't you... Like, I don't think it's bad. Like, what's wrong with dating advice? You'll play threes whenever? Oh. Wait, me, Dav, and Redemption? We can try it out if you want. Xylo, what? Okay. Do I have to listen to this, Jim? It's healthy to give people second chances. Well, it's not even, listen, it's not even like, it's not even callous. Exactly. You literally have the go ahead. It's not even like, okay, I'm sorry, but one minute and 30 seconds of that was just more than enough. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I love this song. Uh, Father, <laughs> oh, I love this song. Father, stretch me. <laughs> Father Stretch Me Out by Kanye West. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Um... <laughs> I'm not refunding. I played enough of that song. What was I going to say? Uh, I was reading Redline's message. It's not even about giving second chances. Like this isn't this isn't like me. This isn't wasn't even about me giving people second chances. It was more so about me coming to terms with the fact that I am also part of the problem and why all of these relationships ended. Like it's not just the other people's fault. Like I am absolutely to blame and like if I'm going to grow as a person and accept these things and be better going forward, I need to, I need to be accepting of my faults and accepting of my part of the blame. Like it's not, it, it, it like I said, it's not second chances. It's acknowledging my faults and acknowledging my wrongdoings as well, which is what I was apologizing for. Hi, Grezzy. How are you? That's hilarious. Father stretch me out. <laughs> Have you heard, have you heard him gay? What? What are you talking about? Hi, Will. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot better. How are you doing? Is song request on? It's through channel points. Yes. No, listen, listen, Callus, listen. 
Song requests are through channel points now. Sorry. Listen, Callus. You already know she likes you. You already know her friend is saying ask her out. Literally, you don't, dude, don't, don't be weird and just walk up to her and be like, do you want to go out? Do you want to go out with me? <laughs> literally just be like, literally just go to her, start a conversation and let it happen naturally. Like, don't like be a weirdo, start a conversation naturally and just talk to her. And then like, as the, see how the conversation flows, see how it goes. And then you could always be like, Hey, like, do you want to get like dinner sometime? Or, Hey, do you want to go to a movie or like whatever, whatever idea of a date that you want to do? That's, that's what you should do. Um, Redline song requests are through Spotify now. So if you could give me the link or name of the song, name of the artist, that would be, uh, perfect. Ask her if she wants to pick your scab and eat it. Don't forget that part. You're stuck on the start a conversation part. I feel like it's a lot easier to start that conversation when you know they... Well, I guess it could also be stressful. But, like, if you know they like you and you know that their friends are already, like, coming to you saying that stuff, doesn't that make it easier? Yeah, Callus, make sure you do it in an anime voice, too. You're just simply not online. You never are. You always make me go through the fucking added bullshit of going to my offline friends, don't you, huh? You sack of fucking horse shit. I'm sorry, that was aggressive. Uh, 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 konnichiwa, would you, um... Like to date, maybe? <laughs> Don't be a baka. It would be so sagoy if we went to the movies. Give me like five minutes? Okay, I got you. Yeah, or you or yeah, or you can do the Andrew Tate route. Oi uh, Oi bitch! Oi, bitch, how are we? You, you want to suck my cock later? Okay, nice talking. Not aggressive, kind of true. Remember every game? My hero, ac my hero academia accent. Please don't bring up the game after I remember that game. I'm cr you're fucking crying laughing. <laughs> What's good female, one spoon? <laughs> Yo, yo, what? You're, what are you talking about? I'm on tar heroin. You gotta try? What? Did you hear what I said about channel points and song requests, by the way, Redline? Uh, for those of you that don't know, channel points, uh, song request works through channel points. So if you would like to request music, it's only, it's only 100 channel points. It's basically, you know, wait, why did I just skip that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I? Did I skip someone's song? Did I just skip someone's song? Yes or no? It's not on. Sp oh, okay. I got you, red line. My bad. I heard Redline. Oh, no. How didn't you hear it? Oh, my bad. On me. On me. Hee <laughs> hee. She says, no. <laughs> Silo, what? <laughs> On me. Yo, nice stream streak. Listen, listen. Like, Worst case scenario, like she says no, and then you can just go forward. It, it like honestly wouldn't be that weird. Like asking someone on a date or whatever, like I don't think would ruin a dynamic or ruin anything, especially if she likes you. Why would she say no? Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm I'm glad you like me enough to come back. I appreciate that. 
She says no when you quit. Da, da, da. Kronos underscore for Tuturu. Hola. Thanks for the prime sub. Hola, m'lady. Would have the likest to wend out for real f for dinner -er with me? That's a good way, too. You're me? You don't know? Dude, people, like, people have dynamics and have friendships with people that they've, like, asked on dates or, like, been in relationships with before. Like, it wouldn't be that weird even if she says no. Like, a normal person, if they did say no, would just be like, oh, no, sorry, like, I'm working on myself right now or something like that. Like, why would that wouldn't... That wouldn't be weird at all. Hi, Chrono. Oh, Chronos, thank you for the Prime. I appreciate that. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Please, wench! I've got some mutton, and I don't have the Black Plague. Would thou liketh to intermingle? I don't even know what that accent is. What? Is, what is that accent? What am I going for there? I really don't know. I, I, I truly don't know what I'm going for there. If someone said no to me, if someone said no to me, you would never see me again. Why? I good accent. Believe in yourself. You know what? You're right. It's a great accent. Is if all else work, get on your knees and beg, please. Actually, that's actually that's actually how you should the Tate supporter accent. You know what? You're right, bro. Literally. Bro, <laughs> bro, literally get on your knees and beg and, and like, uh, I'm, I just want to play one twos game because they're not playing with redemption right now, dad, but that's, that's fine. Just to warm up. I'm super low in twos right now. I, I don't, if you care about your twos rank, my bad. I won't lie. This is my first game in two days or three days. So nice shot. Literally, actually, I've been thinking about it. Ignore all the advice and stuff I just gave you. Walk up to her. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say hi. Don't even acknowledge her. But get on your knees. Put your head down. And then go in the praying position. And say, please, 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 please. That's it. Just keep saying please until she acknowledges it. And see what happens. There you go. You're in there. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be streaming for, for probably like three, three-ish hours total, three, four hours. So I'll, I'll be on for a bit longer. No worries. Spooky going crazy on your keyboard. I love Spooky a lot, Dab. I hope you know that. Hi, Daft Python. How are you? <laughs> yeah, that's a really important part. Don't don't forget to kiss her feet. That's that's really important. That's really important and will absolutely not get you reported to the police, for sure. Do you want to know what shirt I need to get? I need to get, this is really random and not related to the conversation at all, but like kind of, not at all actually. But I want one of those shirts that just says like, it's just like a white shirt and it has black text and it just says like, I am really normal and can be trusted with a weapon. I, I just need that shirt. Could that be, could that get me in legal trouble? No, right? <laughs> Anyone got advice on that? Can I get in trouble for that? No. Right? I'd be fine. I think. I love sweaty toes. That's a crazy millennial shirt. Okay, I won't be getting it. Never mind. Thanks for that. Just ruined the whole thing for me.
not something I'll be getting. Loud and clear. Bro, those Gen X Rise Up videos are so fucking cringe on TikTok. I genuinely thought some of them were troll, but like, well, some of them are troll, like people just like insult, like, you know, making fun of it. But there's like a lot of them that are real. And I like actually can't believe that people are like doing that and thinking it's a good idea. It's so unbelievably cringe that I can't believe it. Like Gen Z, Gen Z, we warned you. <laughs> We warned you, Gen Z. Now you're time time to see my wrath. I did not mean to say calculated. My bad, my bad. I did not mean to say that. I literally was just my thumb slipped looking at chat. I warned you, Gen Z. You shouldn't have poked the bear. I like this song. This is Tommy Richmond, right? Oh, I dove in shittily there. My bad. Oh, never mind. If they didn't score, if they didn't score, I never made a mistake. That's how it works. If the ball doesn't go in, then I played it perfectly. Oh, that was a little bit too far away. Oh? <laughs> NT, NT. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> Wait, so is Platypus, what do you want my name to be? Sorry, you said you want my name to be Gen X Rise Up? Oh. Well, there you go. Ball don't lie. I wanted to beat you up for that challenge. Hey, bitch, I wanted to beat you up for not being there from my open net. Why, why do you only focus on my mistakes, bitch? Yeah, you weren't there. You were too far back because you like full rotated. Oh, okay. When you make a mistake, <laughs> when you make a mistake, there's a there's always an excuse. <laughs> but when I make a mistake, you want to beat me up. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hot date with the Stryans for the Aussie footy match. Hey, sounds good. Thanks for sharing your vulnerability with the reflection vibes. I appreciate you, Jeans. I'm doing my best out here. If I'm making myself a nice chocolate macchiato, before dinner only the last time I had salmon was years ago. Dude, salmon is actually so fire. I like salmon a lot. Callus, make sure you do, like, make sure it's, like, uh, make sure things are, like, set up for us before you go too crazy. Oh, I feel you, Finesse. I look up to you, shoddy. Oh, that, well, you don't look up to me. I'm definitely shorter than you are. 
<laughs> but I appreciate you. You're very kind. Yo, Rockiers. Thanks for the follow. Wait. I mean, perhaps, Kalos. Yeah, you could look into that. English or Portuguese? Portuguese. On a serious note, though, Dav, if we're on the topic, I don't, like, literally, please don't take this toxically, and please don't take this in a very mean way. Like, this is literally just constructive criticism. But you do tend to hyper-focus on the mistakes of the people you're playing with and not really, you don't really like acknowledge or you don't really like pay attention very much to your own mistakes. And it's like, again, don't take it too toxically. Please don't take it like in a super negative way, but it could just be something to maybe like, like, you know, work on going forward. You had salmon for dinner today with a nice teriyaki sauce. Salmon, have you had salmon like sushi or salmon avocado sushi? I love salmon rolls, so good. I, salmon's just really good. All right, let's get into the 3v3 arena. Dab was going insane on our teammate on like the second round last week or whenever we played. It was like round five and Dab turned comms off. Baked salmon, gas. Two tuna sandwiches. Tuna sandwiches are, are pretty good too. Yo, M MA4, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, my medieval knight. Seafood, like just fish in general. Like I don't really think tuna packets are considered seafood, as, as we've talked about before, but it's still fish. And I think tuna is really good. I, I think I think a good tuna sandwich, when you're, when you're feeling it, can go really hard, in my opinion. California is spicy. You should try, if you like salmon, you should try a, a salmon avocado roll. So good. Sam, like, salmon rolls or just salmon sushi is so fire. Especially if you like salmon. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Sh I mean, dude, shrimp sushi is great. I just love sushi. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I might be a little bit biased because I like sushi and it's like one of my favorite foods. If not my favorite food. But um, there's just like, you know, you can even get spicy salmon if you like spicy. You can get some spicy salmon. You can put teriyaki on it. You can put spicy mayo on it. Gas. Rich? Sushi's not even, like, that expensive. There's, like, a lot of places where you can get, like, lunch deals where it's, like, $12. You can get, like, three rolls or whatever. Whenever I get... Bro, that is so lucky. What the heck? I don't think canned fish stops being fish. I, tuna's obviously still fish, but, like... If you told, if you told someone, okay, if you had two tuna fish sandwiches for dinner and you told someone, oh, I just had a nice seafood dinner. <laughs> and then they asked you what you had and you told them you had a tuna fish sandwich. They would probably rip your throat out. Just being honest. Just, just being honest with you. No, oh, just had a nice, just had a, just had, just had a nice seafood dinner. Oh, what'd you have? Do you have like haddock, cod? Uh, had tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> they would be fully within their rights to assault you. Hibachi? I don't think I've, I've never had hibachi other than like at my school. There used to be like um, a hibachi bar or whatever. And I would get like, I would get that sometimes. Um, but, um, seafood in general is really good. Like, I don't know. I, I, I like fish and seafood a lot. Like, I don't think there's a single seafood that I've tried that I don't like. 
I like clams. I like mussels, uh, steamers, salmon, cod, haddock, uh, tuna. Um, I've tried swordfish before. Not bad. Octopus, squid. Uh, what else have I had? Um, uh, like lobster, crab. Like, I don't think there's a single seafood that I've tried to this point that I haven't liked. I just like seafood. Sardines. Sardines are not the best, but um, they're honestly, there's a lot of traditional Portuguese like dishes that have sardines in them. I forget what the name in Portuguese is for sardines. There's like a specific name that like whenever uh, whenever someone would say it, there'd always be someone, like whenever people were talking about what's gonna be for dinner, like if we're at like my grandma's house or something, people would, damn, that was a good shot. People would like groan, but El Sardines, wait, is that? I don't think that's how you say it. Steamers, steamers is like clams, mussels. Someone look up exactly what steamers are. They're just literally like little clams. Oh, wait a minute. Is this M&M? All right, we gonna cancel this guy. We gonna cancel him right now. Crunch uh, popped off for our last two goals. Your school, your school didn't have swordfish. No, my school did not have swordfish. Did someone request this? No, right? Hold on. What is it called? Portuguese um, sardine dish? What is it called? Uh, what the fuck was the name of the dish? Like, there, people in my family would literally just, like, eat this. Like, they would eat, they, sardines would be cooked and they just eat them. Like, they would just, they would, like, eat the sardines and then pick the bones out of their mouth. What the fuck is it called? What m and do? Um, we gotta Gen Z him, bruh. We gotta cancel him, bruh. Sardinia? No, what is the name of the dish? Fuck. Can sardines are Portuguese delicacy? Yeah. What is it called? Sardines are really healthy for you, apparently. They're really healthy for you. They, uh, they're a source of omega-3 fatty acids, 15% of vit vitamin B2, 25% of ni niacin, niacin, and filled with vitamin B12. That's pretty cool. Fuck, what is the fucking dish called? Yeah, sardines, sar sardines are actually not bad. They're just a little bit salty. Have I had unicorn yet? No, I'm looking forward to it, though. Is it not just grilled sardines? Well, no, I, like, I want to know what the name of it is in Portuguese, is what I'm trying to say, because, like, my family, like, when they're all together, they don't, like, they speak Portuguese more than they speak English. Especially, like, my grandparents and, and like, my aunts and whatever. It does not sound like the word sardine. Scallops are good.
you ate from the vending machine. I had a I got a meal plan. For me, like I only ate on campus. Like I never I never got Uber Eats. I never ordered out. I only ate on campus. So for me, for me getting uh, a meal plan made sense. There it is. Yes, there it is. Holy fuck. Bacayao. Bacayao. Yes. Thank you. It's, oh, it's not sardines. Apparently, it's salted cod. Okay. Bacayao. It's, it's not sardines. It's salted cod. I must have thought that it was sardines because it was so salty. But I guess it's just really salty cod. Every, anytime, like when my when my grandma would say that we're gonna have bacayao, like everyone would be like, "Oh, like really?" If you had aura, I think it would be green with flies around it. What the hell? I'm pretty clean. What the hell? I'm pretty clean. I shower every day. I brush my teeth twice a day. I floss. Um. I wash my face. I moisturize my whole body every day. I tell you, I have very good hygiene. I thought it was. I thought it was sardines, but people, regardless, people in my family still love sardines. You were right, Sardinia. My people in my family love sardines. Like they would literally have the canned sardines, and they would just. It would be. They're like. They're like bony. And they would just like they would eat the sardine, like take out all the meat, and then they would use like the the bones to like pick their teeth. Did I get my hair done? No. I have it I have it in a braid right now. They're good, we used to do that too. You still have them time to time. I haven't had sardines for a while, but yeah. Um, dude, I the Portuguese language is so funny. Joaquinhos. I, I love Portuguese words. I I'm not gonna lie. Like obviously, I'm I'm Portugal Portuguese, and my family speaks Portugal Portuguese. But I can't lie. I think I like the way Brazilian people speak Portuguese more than I like the way Portuguese people speak Portuguese. I'm going to be honest, like the Brazilian accent is so nice to listen to. I love it. I'm going to be honest. It just sounds like the way like like Brazilian people when they end their when they when they end when they're talking Portuguese and they end their sentence and like each they like they always add like a ch to the end of words. And it's I just love the way it sounds. But each like they just the way they speak, it just sound I just love it. Shut the fuck up, Zyla. Wait. Hold on. Uh. Like, hold on. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Like, let me ask my playlist first. Hold on, there. I love the way Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese sounds. I'm sorry. Portuguese is colonized Spanish. That's why. Wait, what do you mean? Like Portuguese people colonized Spain or other way around? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I mean, isn't isn't English, French, Spanish, um, Portuguese? Aren't all those languages from the same like language tree? Like they all descend from the same. language language tree that's why they have a lot of similarities am i making that up 
Gonna pop a sound a shout. Dude, I love the way it sounds. It just sounds so nice. It's so satisfying in my ear holes. Uh, uh, uh. English. Am I wrong? Wait, am I wrong though? Ear holes. <laughs> Wait, am I wrong? Are they not? Is what I said incorrect? Are they not all descending from like the same like root or whatever? Very wrong. Wait, what? It sounds so nice. Yeah, romance, <clears throat> like Spanish, Portuguese, they're like a romance language. Um, and then like. Yeah, it looks like English is on <clears throat> English is on like a West Germanic. And then like this is romance, so they're different trees. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on. Gaelic? I know Ireland used to speak Gaelic before they got, like, colonized. Hold on, I'm trying to find this other Brazilian song. It was, like, literally, hold on. Neymar, uh, Brazilian song montage. There's one more Brazilian song that I want to show y'all that I, like, I love the way it sounds. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's so loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was so loud. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. That was so loud. My bad. My bad. I did not know I was going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not loading. No, not that one. No. Where is the song? Wait. Girl sings Neymar song. What the f is it called? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, there we go. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is what it is. Okay, now we can go back to playing. Again, sorry. I'm Portuguese. I just think the way they speak Brazilian Portuguese is just, it sounds, it's just, I like, I like the way, hi, Brayden. How are you, sweetie? I think... I think Portuguese, por Portugal Portuguese sounds nice, but I think Brazilian Portuguese sounds nicer. Sorry. Like, just listen to this. It's beautiful. Just the way they, like, the way, the way Brazilian people enunciate the Portuguese words... It's just, it just sounds so nice. I love it. I'm putting in songs too. While I'm in between. Mike Smooch. Mwah. I sleep on my side. I sleep on my side slash stomach. You're not Portuguese. Okay, Callus, you can't deny Brazilian Portuguese sounds so cool and you know it. Like, I just, I love the way how they like end their words with like the Ichi. Like, but the Ichi, I don't even know, I don't know Portuguese, so I don't even know words to say. But just like, the, like you can tell 
I can always tell when it's Brazilian Portuguese just because of the way they enunciate the words and how they say stuff. I love it. It's so like, it sounds so cool. It sounds stupid compared to real Portuguese. That's crazy. That's gotta be, that's gotta be something. I'm very good at understanding Portuguese. I cannot speak it, but I can understand what, what like my family is saying, but I cannot speak it. I've been around it my whole life, so. I love it so much. How about you learn it? I wish. I should. Dude, I literally had a, a golden opportunity to learn Portuguese. I had a golden opportunity to learn Portuguese growing up, considering my entire family, like literally speaks fluent Portuguese. And my mom just never taught us, which is so silly. It's very, it's very annoying. Because like I said, we absolutely, like bro, if I was taught Portuguese from when I was a young kid, I would be fluent. Like I would be fluent in multiple languages. And the excuse my mom always says is like, oh, your, your, uh, your dad's dad did not like when he heard you speaking Portuguese. I'm like, okay. So you like just let like a racist old man like nerf us and not let us be multilingual. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for that. Maybe I should, honestly, maybe I should, like, I say it like I've been continuously studying French, but maybe I should just, like, kind of take a step back from French and just learn Portuguese and then French, maybe. Maybe I should pick things back up and learn Portuguese. Yo, another, another familiar face that hasn't been around for a while. Hi, Hurdle. Thank you so much for following again and coming through. I appreciate you. Dismal was here earlier and it's really nice to see y'all here again. It's just really nice. It's really nice to not have that negative relationship and tension with y'all i'm very i'm very grateful and i'm very happy that y'all accepted my apology and we're just cool going forward it, it mean it means a lot to me seriously you're ugly that's not very nice i wouldn't say something like that to you i think you're i think you're a real handsome guy Wait, I just realized, speaking of Brazilian people, we're playing Tander. I'm pretty sure Tander is Brazilian. Aw, oh, rip, I think I had a shot there. Wait. Ooh. Who requested this? I like Brazilian funk, I can't lie. I think this is Brazilian funk. Could be wrong. That's such a good vibe. Hikari Asang. I love this. this. This goes hard. I rock with it. That's such a good vibe. Damn. 
It's just a winnable if we score like now. Tander is just a beast, man. It's all good. We started this game poorly. It's fine. Beza. You own Tander? Hey, Tander's a beast. Next out. These aren't close. I'm bored. Dav is such a toxic gamer. Okay. Every song that's been requested is in the queue. Um, was I going to do something or was I going to respond to something in chat? I don't remember. This is a compulsive gambler from JJK's theme song. I love you, Beza. Okay. I, I thanked all follows. I put all song requests in. I said what I wanted to say. Okay. How is that toxic? How is that not toxic? Next L. These aren't close. I'm bored. How is that not toxic? Am I am I being unfair? Maybe I'm being unfair. Yeah. I miss old Kanye, man. I miss when Kanye wasn't like a Nazi dude. Fair enough. That's pro. Fair enough. I, I just, I'm just perceiving it wrong. My bad, Dav. I mean, we only lost by two goals that game, but I, I understand. <laughs> Gen X rise up. We are not gonna let Gen Z cancel Eminem. Oh, they don't even they don't understand. We are not gonna let this happen. <laughs> Gen Z just woke up the beast. <laughs> I literally thought I literally thought that all those videos were satire. The fact that, like, so many of them are real is genuinely unbelievable to me. Like, I actually, like, I can't believe it, but, like, I can at the same time. <laughs> you can cancel me, but I don't care. You can try. <laughs> cancel me. Cancel me for saying this, chat, but... It's just my opinion. <laughs> you need a calculator for that. You need a calc. Calc is short for calculator, by the way, chat. I'm using slang. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, bro... Eminem fans and like Gen X and Millennials are like battling demons. They're shadow boxing demons. It's so funny. I love it. <gasps> Playing threes right now? You ran into a GC1 and Champ1? What did, did they have a GC tag? That happens. That happens. Just because someone has a tag doesn't mean they're going to be that rank all the time. I mean, for example, like right now, I have a, my SSL tournament winner tag, and I'm only 1,700. So, that happens. You know, I'm, it, I'm not surprised that someone who's like maybe peaked like GC1 is in like the low champs. <laughs> unless, unless you're using a calc, you can't do that math. <laughs> you have a calculator next to you, that's why. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> uh, the rage bait is so funny sometimes. I'm not washed. Cancel me if you want. Okay, should be good. Uh-oh. Is this like child like an alt account or something? Probably. A restaurant that sells weed. Oh, that dude, that restaurant probably makes crazy money on sales too. A restaurant that sells weed is like actually an ingenious idea. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what? You lost seven to one, it happens. It happens. Oh, by the way, so I'm kind of sad because I don't have any like subscription service that Freerin is on. Um, and last night I got lazy. I didn't feel like going to my phone to cast it to my TV. So I have like a net, the Netflix app on my TV and um, I, I Demon Slayer is on Netflix and I've been meaning to like catch up on Demon Slayer. <clears throat> so I rewatched Demon Slayer and um, I've been rewatching Demon Slayer. I'm, I'm on episode four and um, I I'm enjoying it so far. I I forgot how uh, how much I, I did enjoy Demon Slayer. Uh, I missed the boost. It's fine. Just get me out of here. G G's. I need to cut, dude. Uh, let me let me watch all the stuff. Let me watch all the stuff that I've been meaning to watch, and let me catch up on the stuff I've been meaning to catch up on and then I'll watch One Piece. One Piece is just such a long time commitment and One Piece is just such like a, you know, it's just a lot. So I plan on watching it and I will watch it, but I just want to catch up. I want to like get rid of what's on my list right now and then I'll watch One Piece. Excuse me, Callus. Um, what? That's all good. Just say, no, I seriously, I plan on watching One Piece. I do. I, I promise. I promise. It's okay. All good. Bad sessions happen. GG's. No worries. Uh, it's not a big deal. It, we lost three games. It's it happens. It's no one's fault. It whatever. Some days are just you know. Some days are not meant to be. We didn't. It's not even like we had that easy of matchups. We played Tander, and then that last matchup we had, we played like Cha on an alt, and he's a he's a good player. It's it's whatever. We just not like. It's fine. But listen, listen, I have been on my anime grind recently. I'm, I'm not like, I'm, I've not been not watching anime like I was in the past. I'm on my anime grind. I've been actually like watching and finishing stuff. Like in, let's just say in recent times, I, I finished, um, Vinland Saga. I finished, um, I finished Vinland Saga. I finished solo leveling, like I'm caught up to it. Um, I'm caught up to, I'm watching Freerun right now. What did I watch before Vinland Saga? Why am I blanking? Oh, I watched Cowboy Bebop. 
Vinland Saga. Um, uh, what am I? What am I blanking on right now? There's one more. I haven't updated my analyst in in a little bit, yeah. But I have been watching. I promise. I do plan on watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood as well. I know. I promise you. I have seriously. I've been watching anime. I've continued. What did I watch? Wait, can are you on my analyst right now? Can you tell me what I watched before Cowboy Bebop? Can you see that? What did I watch before Cowboy Bebop? Why am I like... Like, I want to watch One Piece. I think I'm gonna... I think I will enjoy it. I plan on it. But I'm also gonna watch One Piece, probably. Either I'm gonna watch One Piece or when like when I'm done, or I'm gonna just wait for the One Piece like I'm gonna wait for the One Piece remake to come out, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be coming out in recent times, like Dab's been talking about it. Or I'm just gonna watch One Piece. I watch anime. Yeah, I watch anime, but like I don't really watch that much anime. I wish I watched more, but like, I just sometimes get burnt out, you know? I could, I sometimes like, I have a hard time, I'll finish an anime and then I'll have a hard time starting another one. And I like won't watch an anime for a couple months or something. Yeah, I plan on watching One Piece. I just, yeah, I watch anime at a pretty slow pace. I, I watch anime at a pretty slow pace, and I just, you know, I don't know. I enjoy it. I like watching anime. I, I just, I don't really watch as much anime as I would like to. Like I said, sometimes I'll, like in the past, currently I'm on my grind. Currently I'm on my grind. But um, there, there's been multiple time periods over the last couple years where I'll watch an anime, really enjoy it, and I'll want to start another one, but then I'll just get caught up watching YouTube or I'll get caught up, you know, I, I get like on binges of YouTube videos and whatever, and I won't start a show for a long time. So it just like has led to me not watching as much anime as I kind of want to, or starting shows that I want to watch. Hold on, I'm gonna go to my analyst after this game. I love this album. I don't think there's a single bad song on this album. I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> oh yeah, I watched Mashal. Just in recent time, <clears throat> just in recent times, I finished Soul Leveling. I finished Vinland Saga. I finished Mashal. Um... I finished Cowboy Bebop. Like, I've been actually watching, like, a good amount of anime and, like, you know, finishing it. Like I said, I'm, I'm like, actually on one of my, my grinds time periods. Can we still friends? Can we... Oh, I don't even know the words, I guess. Unlucky. Uh oh. My teammate is struggling <laughs> grabbing boost right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have not watched Sword Art online. I've seen many mixed things about Sword Art. Teammates are there. Let's go. All right, nice, nice, nice. 
It looks like uh, the solo Q grind might be okay if I've been playing okay. All right. So if you if y'all want to check out my anime list yourself, um, you can um, do com do exclamation point anime, and you can see it. I have it set up to you know go there, but hold on. Hold on, let me let me support my friends real quick. How did I already like this? Oh my god, oh my god. I love all my friends. I love all my friends. I love all the stuff you're watching and such. Hey, any any of you that make an analyst um and you follow me, I'll follow you back. I'll follow anyone back and I don't know. It's just cool. It's just cool. Are these all like hentais? Some of these look very interesting, robot. I can't lie. That's some scope shit on God. Hi, Shumzo. How are you? Damn, I have a pimple growing right here. And it hurts. One of those painful ones. Tyler had the... Op Wait, what do you mean, Dev? Why is Tyler not cool? What happened? Got you. Followed back. If you follow me, like I said, if you follow me, I'll follow you back. No problem. Let me go to my, so I've watched six, over, I've been watching anime for, um, I've been watching anime since like 20, 2019, I think, 2018, 2019. And, um, I've watched 67 anime. So like, I feel like that's just really not that much considering like some of them are movies or only one season. So yeah, damn, this pimple hurts. Bleach is really good. Bleach is kind of slow to get into, but I enjoy it. I really enjoyed Bleach. Um, I'm trying to think, how do I sort this by... Like, how do I sort this by when it happened? Um, is there a way to do that? List, watching, filter, um, status, genre, format. Mm -hmm. I guess I can just go here. Um, all right, whatever. I don't care. Um, so in recent times, I've watched Cowboy Bebop, Vinland Saga 1, Season 1 and 2. I watched Solo Leveling. I watched, um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I watched what else in recent time? Um, Mashal. I watched Mashal season one and season two. I did enjoy Mashal. Oh, Tokyo Ghoul. I watched Tokyo Ghoul. Like I rewatched all of Tokyo. Well, rewatched, but I watched it for for the first time. Um. So yeah, the, I've been actually like watching and finishing multiple animes. You would friend you, but you use my anime list. I was using my anime list too, but I think, I don't know. I, I think I like analyst a little bit better. Honestly, I think it's just a little bit better, um, of a format for, for this. 
True scopes, true. But uh, yeah, so as you can see here, these are all the animes I've watched. I'm a Dragon Ball bias fan. I understand that. Dragon Ball has been a part of my life for so long. It will always be my favorite. I've literally liked Dragon Ball since I was a child. Um, Silent Voice is my favorite anime movie. Um, I would say One Punch Man is probably my second favorite anime of all time. Um, Steins Gate is probably my third. I think these are all rated pretty fairly. I liked Cowboy Bebop a lot. I loved the vibes of Cowboy Bebop. Um... Just, yeah, if you want to see my ratings or what I've watched. And look, I do plan, I do plan on watching all of these, except I've heard Fire Force is very fan servicey, and I might not enjoy it. I think that's, I think Fire Force is the one I was told about, right? So, like, I really, I don't have much to watch before I start One Piece. I do need to, I am going to catch up, hold on. I do need to put these in. Yeah. So it is Fire Force that I'm thinking of. This is the new arc of Demon Slayer, correct? Full Metal Alchemist will punch. You think so? I love One Punch Man. We'll see. Okay, so I need to watch this. This is new anime for me. Um, and also, My Hero. My Hero. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I need to watch My Hero Season 6 and Season 7, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, I, I do. I, I don't even have it. Yeah, I need to watch My Hero Season 6 and Season 7. So, is there a way to like just go to the next season from here? No? Okay, it's fine. I have I have two seasons of my hero to catch up on. Um and you gotta watch Howl's Moving Castle. I have, I have. Wait, do I not have it rated on my list? I really enjoyed Howl's Moving Castle. No, oh, I don't. I watched this already. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it and I would, I think I would give it like an eight. I really liked it. I think, wait, what do I have at an eight right now? I would say I in, probably enjoyed it more than I want to eat your pancreas. Um, but I probably didn't enjoy it as much as your name. That's tough. Okay, so let's just do this. Ready? Let's make your name 8.2, and we'll put Howl at 8.1, because I did really enjoy it. Um, damn, what else do I not have? I've watched, I've, I have Spirited Away, I have Howl's Moving Castle, I have Grave of Fireflies, Grave of the Fireflies. Um... I'll be quiet, Jim. Pancreas was so good. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoyed Pancreas for sure. It made me cry. I'm trying to think. What else? What else? Watching anime with people is so fun. I do love watching anime with people. I've been watching anime with Shli. What? <laughs> I was thinking of that blue lock edit I posted earlier. What else? What else? I wonder what else I don't have on here that I've watched. Oh, I know. What the, what the fuck is that? Five inches or something? What is that movie that it's like something inches to miles or something? And it's like three, three stories connected? Fuck, what's it called? 
I know someone knows, surely. You gave it a 9.8? I mean, it's really good. I don't blame you. Is that the boxing one? I've seen that on Netflix. On my recommended. That's true, Zylo. Yeah, I think Analyst is cool. What the fuck is it called? Undertale Papyrus? I don't know what that is, but hi, how are you? Yeah, that makes, I mean, it happens, Scopes. You know, people don't have like the same, whatever, same schedules and stuff. What is it called? What is it called? Does anyone know? It's like five, it's like something inches to whatever. It's like, fuck, what's it called? Like the first, the first story is about like, people that like move apart and then they like reconnect yes five centimeters per second i knew i was close thank you thank you i thought this was i'm not gonna lie i thought this was very mid 71 i was gonna rate it a 6.9 not even on some meme shit but like it ends up being some meme shit it was okay you know it was okay i thought it was all right you know, it, it was, you know, I think it was like worth watching, but I don't think it was anything, anything special. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What else have I watched that it might not be in here? Um, I don't think there's anything else. Hmm. And for the, for those of you that say I meat ride stuff and that like I give I like overrate stuff, I don't think I think a mean score of seven point six is really not that bad considering I have Dragon Ball at a ten. I feel like I rate anime pretty fairly for my opinion because keep in mind it is opinions. I can see your list if you follow me. I'll be able to see like your list and like what you watch and stuff. Scopes, just do it. Do it for like an hour one day. It's worth it. What is... What else have I watched? I've, I'll keep thinking. I'll keep thinking if I've watched anything. I'm not going to count any of the old Dragon Ball Z movies. I haven't seen so many of them in so long. We resign, you resign. My user is, I think it's just Paps on Twitch, yeah. It's Paps on Twitch, Bulma PFP. Please don't throw your love away. Please don't throw your love away. I'm going to say that I'm re-watching this too. I literally, I watched three episodes yesterday. So... Why did it? I'm rewatching Demon Slayer. I'm I'm only rewatching it because there's not that many episodes. I think you know. I I think when it comes to watching an anime that doesn't have that many episodes, like Demon Slayer, like what is it like? You know, fifty ish total. Like, fifty. Um. 50 it's like 26 37 the the other arc in between is like what like uh eight so like 45 and then the new season's like what 12 it's like you know it's like 50 60 episodes it'll take me like a week or two you know i think um i i think like when i watch my hero i'll probably rewatch all of my hero too it's just not that long i and honestly i have not watched demon slayer or my hero or any of these things that like I haven't watched in years at this point. So I think it's like beneficial for me to like catch up in my opinion. Hi, Brighty followed. Yo, I got you. Followed on <laughs> SPFB. Nice anyway, um, Oh, also, I've been continuing to watch regular show. Can can someone point me to the best website for like movies and TV shows? Because I'm more than down. Like, I would love to catalog the movies and TV shows I've watched too. Because I've watched a lot of movies and I've watched a lot of TV shows over time. 
Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just a letterbox. Okay, letterbox. Oh wait, really? Wait, Dismal, you're a big Demon Slayer person. You enjoy it? The last time the Demon Slayer is probably getting to another episode of the year. Damn. Okay, I'm excited to watch it. Like currently, so currently I'm watching Freerin. So what I'm doing right now is like I'm just I'm watching Freerin, which is brand new to me, and I'm enjoying it for sure. And Demon Slayer, I'm just rewatching Demon Slayer too. I think it's possible to do two at the same time. Anything more than that, I would be overwhelmed. But I think two at the same time is fine. Um, and then I'm watching regular show with Schlee. And I'm really enjoying regular show because I've never seen regular show. And I think it's really fun. I think it's a really fun turn your brain off, have fun kind of show, you know? I also recently rewatched Adventure Time with Schlee. And I would literally give Adventure Time like a 9 out of 10. I really enjoy Adventure Time. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. W Dismo, hell yeah. I've watched the first three episodes only already so far, and I forgot how much I enjoyed it. It's enjoyable. You know, there's not, you know, it's an okay story. The animation's beautiful. Regular show's the best. I've never seen regular show ever, so it's my first time, and I'm enjoying it. Maybe maybe one of these days I'll, I'll do a stream where, like, I, I can, like, make my letterbox or whatever, and we can talk about and, like, rate stuff. I think that'd be kind of fun, right? Would y'all ever enjoy something like that where we just like talk about stuff I've watched? Because I've probably watched, I've probably watched many shows that y'all have watched. Like, you know, I've, you know, like the big shows like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Prison Break, stuff like that. All right. I'm going to go live on YouTube too before I forget. That's been two hours, but it's all good. I forget to go live on YouTube a lot, but it's fine. Oh, speaking of this, I'm going to get back to playing. Don't worry. Don't worry. The games will be starting back up in a minute, but I am going to be very, I'm going to be a, a needy bitch and I'm going to ask something of y'all. Okay. You don't have to do it, but I would appreciate it. Um, Hold on. Okay. You don't have to do it. It's okay. I understand. But if you would be so kind, two things. All right. So I would be very, very, very much grateful if you could click this link right here. If you could click that link, can I put colors in Discord? What do you mean? Hi, Kalate. How are you? I've never seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I've seen some funny clips. Hi. Thank you for liking. Thank you for liking, Callus. I appreciate you. But All right! Thank you for the follow, Cozy. I appreciate you. Kasi, Kosi. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but if you could click that link and... If you could drop a like on my YouTube live, I would very, I would very much appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. And then, um, you know, obviously you don't have to like comment or any, oh my God, what a frame, what a still, ew. Um, I'd very much appreciate it. Um. And then if you could also, um, after you drop a like, if you could make your way on over and click down and go to my, sh and go to my shorts, if you would be ever so kind to also go to my recent short and drop a like and a comment, I would very, very, very much appreciate that. Um, I posted it literally right before I went live. So if, um, yeah. If you'd like to do that, I would very much appreciate that too. Um, so yeah, like my live and like my recent short, but you don't have to, but I would really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, and I mean, coughs like an iPad kid. What are you talking about? 
And then also, this is, you know, another thing. Uh, this is not like liking anything. But if you do want to join my Discord and you'd like to be a part of the conversation and you'd like to hang out with people, um, my Discord is super active. People are always chatting. People are always in VC gaming. People are, like, you know, sharing stuff and whatever. But yeah, my Discord's very active and people are just... Uh, people are always vibing and stuff. And if you want to be a part of it and you want to stay connected with the community off stream or, you know, whenever I'm not live or anything, uh, yeah, Discord's pretty cool. And you could always be notified about, um, always be notified about my Twitch when I go live on Twitch, my YouTube uploads, all that stuff. Okay. Scroll up. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Okay, you just edited the picture. Dude, that's pretty good editing, right? Am I tripping? <laughs> wait, wait, like, yes, that's... <laughs> that's pretty crazy editing. What the fuck? That, that legit looks like it's on. I mean, you didn't... Uh, anyway. <laughs> that's such a banger. That's such a big Hold on. Um, are you forgetting I got banned on Twitter, my friend? And I do not plan on making a new Twitter for quite a while. Hi, Blueface. How do I know it's editing? Because I know, I know Gim. I know Gim does not do black tar heroin, I think. I think. I guess I'm not sure. All right, back to gaming. Yeah, back to gaming. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, I'm not on a... That's really unfortunate. My teammate grabbed that boost, but it's fine. Make a play with it. Let's try. Let's try. I'm, um, I did win my last game. I did win my last game before I took that little break. So let's win this one and go and get a nice little streak going, maybe. Nice. Good shot. Let's win this one. Let's get a nice little streak going and let's, um, let's just keep vibing. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to double this. Nice. Start a pull, but what? It's all good, we're missing boost, no worries. Nothing new here. Oh, you mean like a prediction? I'm down. Are, are we down for a prediction, y'all? Are we down for a channel point prediction? I have never been to a Ben & Jerry's store, but I've eaten Ben & Jerry's. Does that count? I think there was like one in a mall, like I've seen it, uh, but I've never, I don't think I've ever been inside one. Community Snapchat group, that sounds like a horror, I think I did that back in like 2018 or 2019 when Snapchat was actually like, is Snapchat even like a popular, like, is it still used like it used to be? You need to carry, you're so bad. Why do you say that, Roxanne? But I don't, like, I literally have not regularly used Snapchat in, like, no joke, probably, probably three, four years. I only use Snap. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice new color, Callie. 
You only snap for GCs. That makes sense. I just have like any any group chats that I'm in. I just I use text. Please don't need me. Don't need me. Don't need me. Oh, you're still playing Val? Okay, I got you. I honestly would not. I would be down to play Val with you sometime. I'm not gonna lie though. You know, don't take that as like, oh, we can play like. I just don't really play Val that much. But I mean, I don't know how much of a carry I would be. I'm a peak silver three. So, you know, <laughs> take take me being a carry with a grain of salt. I'm not very good. I don't know. I feel like when it comes to stories, I feel like Instagram stories are probably more used than Snapchat stories nowadays, right? I don't even know. I just, I thought it was, it, I was of the opinion that Snapchat kind of like fell off as a being like an app. Like I think, like obviously people still use it, but I just feel like in terms of like popularity, I feel like it's not like an app. Oh my God, I almost saved that. The group chat y'all made, major carry, you're plastic basically. Oh, that's tough. Are you... Are you serious, Hannah? Someone dropped 60 kills in a ranked game? That, the most kills I've ever seen is 49. I got smurfed on by Arena and she dropped 49 on me. I'm, I can't believe 60 is even possible. That's low key unbelievable. I really thought my teammate was going to go for the ball there. It's unfortunate. Oh, is this is this data eight? Is that what it's called? That's tough. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, that's not a very good first touch. Damn. Go, 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 go. No! Oh my god, my teammate is so close to greatness. Feels bad. Oh, if that boost spawn, I could have turned and just fucking went. Oh man, dude. That's all good. It's unlucky. Just a little bit of trolling happens. What's up, Fade? How are you? I see you in YouTube. What's up, Azur? How are you? How are you? Yaps is right. Oh, hello, Rocket Yoda. Interesting seeing you here. Um, let me catch up on some chat. Sorry. Um, I knew I missed a dismal chat. I would delete it. All of my photos are on there. You can, like, back up your photos onto your, like your drive or whatever like your google drive or whatever you use um snapchat tries to force you to use their tiktok think wait what is that snapchat has a tiktok what is, huh what am i what have i missed out on can you 1v1 me i'm sorry but i'm just playing some ranked right now my friends i appreciate you hanging out here but i'm i'm just playing some ranked Dark Demise, what happened? What do you mean, minus 120? 
Last time I used it consistently was for streaks. No, that's what I'm saying. Bro, I remember back in the day, I was very obsessed with keeping my streaks and stuff. But like, like I said, other than that, I haven't used Snapchat in so long. It's going okay, Rocket Yoda. I'm doing well. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. I've... You know, I saw some stuff on some platforms. I pooped the bed. Oh my God, what a name. Welcome to the YouTube. I did not matter. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The song is such a vibe. Oh, so does Snapchat have, like, their own, like, shorts type thing? Ugh. Sex emote is crazy. I can't lie. What should I ask her to do? I mean, depends. What would you like to do? You could, like, getting dinner is not a bad date idea. Um, Going to the movies is not a bad date idea. Just ask her to do something that you like to do. D Trumper. Oh man. Oh, oh my. Oh wow. Thank goodness my name isn't Paps. Oh good heavens. I would be losing some MMR. Guaranteed. All me, all me, all me. I do it all. Thanks, D Trumper. Lunch? Yeah, lunch, dinner, whatever, movie. All that stuff is pretty good for a first date. Yo, what's up, Lewis Clips? How are you? Well, no, I know Rocket Yoda. I mean, I'm just saying when, when people were like rage baiting and getting angry at me on Twitter.com over a certain, uh, you know, I'll admit it, an edgy joke. I did see that you were one of the people that were uh, responding to that stuff. I'll be honest. That's all I'm saying. It's not a big deal. I appreciate you being here. I score these. I score these. Oh my God. Oh my God. Gen X rise up. Gen X rise up. Remember me? Yeah, I remember you, of course. I'm doing okay. We're vibing. Just playing some rank. Playing some ranked and vibe. I feel like I'm playing pretty good today. I uh, This is my first time playing Rocket League in like three days. But even though I haven't played, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, damn. What happened on X? I told a little bit of an edgy joke, and it hit the wrong crowd of people, and a lot of people uh, rage baited over it. Yo, what the hell, Lewis? Thank you for the five, the five dollars super chat. What the hell? I appreciate that. You don't, you don't have to be doing that. I appreciate that, though. Thank you, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna... Okay, I thought I was gonna just fucking whiff that and not get a 50. But yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. What the hell? Oh, I misread that. Oh, wait. 
my god, oh my god. Am I gonna score this? Oh, I had no boost. That would have been so funny if I scored that. Uh, I have no idea about what Trump is and isn't banned on, to be honest. Thank you, I appreciate that, Lewis. You're very kind. Thank you, thank you. I'm playing all-star bots. Yeah, that was a crazy miss. I can't lie. Let me take it, though. He went for boost. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, yeah. The plating was really nice, and the food looked good. Don't spawn here, please. Thank you. I appreciate you not spawning there. I'll check, by the way, Dab, I'll check Discord after this game. I'm so confused. If they were just going to unban him, why'd they even ban him in the first place? Like, I'm pretty sure, wasn't it supposed to be like a perma ban or whatever? I don't know. Hi, GC. How are you? Uh, I stream on Twitch and I stream on YouTube. If you want to come to my Twitch, uh, my Twitch is just Paps. And it's a horse. I have music on, on Twitch and it's, a, you know, a regular horizontal stream. YouTube's really annoying about copyright, so you just can't play music on YouTube like whatsoever, unless it's non-copyright stuff and not not my not my swag just stay on youtube hey, whatever you want to do whatever you want to do and whatever you support i appreciate it regardless thank you out we got to stop the bleeding here. They've scored like three in a row. Bang. Miss. Nice. Oh. I don't like this very much. Okay, we're good. Good challenge for me, honestly. Oh, that demo. That demo almost got them in, back in the game in a tie. This motherfucker is chasing me. You take it this far. Sis. Sis joined the bin Twitter suspended gang. Welcome. Wait, you've been suspended on Twitter too? What did you get suspended for? I think I think coffee or lunch is a good date idea. Oh. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Um, Rocket Yoda. I hope you're still here. I'm caught up on the situation. And oh, no. I just hope you know, no hard feelings, no grudge. I'm with you. I'm with you. You've been looking? Yeah, sorry. I, I, um, I didn't stream for, I didn't stream. I streamed on Thursday morning and then I didn't stream until tonight. So I, I took off Thursday night. I took off Friday night. Um, I, I've been, you know, it's been a little bit tough mentally for me. I've been like reconnecting with people. I've been building bridges. I've been apologizing to people that I haven't spoke to in a while and just kind of 
you know, I, I, I've been going through a whole, like, just little, I've been going through a period of time these past three days where I've been doing a lot of crying, a lot of reconnecting, a lot of bridge building. I've been apologizing to people that I feel deserved apologies from me. And it's been a really awesome experience. And it's been a really productive experience. Um, literally every single person that I've reached out to besides one, like 25 people probably I reached out to and 24 of them answered and it was a positive experience and we, you know, reconnected. They accepted my apology and some of them I'm like cool with again and friends with and, you know, talking to. Some of them are just, you know, they accepted the apology and we you know, have no beef or grudge going forward. Yes, IRL peeps as well, online friends and and um, IRL friends. So that's really nice too, um, reconnecting with them as well. And this has been a really good experience. And honestly, I've been doing a lot of crying. I've been doing a lot of self-reflection. I've been doing a lot of just, you know, trying like continuing to try to be a better person and accepting my faults and flaws and stuff and um yeah so i think it was healthy for me to take a couple nights off a of stream and just kind of i've been continuing to do that and stuff um and yeah all right let me put your songs in hi cross how are you sweetie pie but it's been great. It's been great. Um, you know, even it's it's hard to accept your flaws, and it's it's hard to to um, you know, that's part of why I was crying because a lot of the crying was just like me feeling really shitty about treating people the way I treated them, and feeling just you know just feeling a lot of regret and a lot of a lot of dislike for myself for treating people in a way that I thought wasn't fair and um yeah it's just it's it's been tough but it's been overall a great experience and I I don't regret it one bit I don't regret apologizing or reaching out to people or whatever a single bit it's been it's been great and I'm I'm really appreciative and really um, really grateful, like everyone, pretty much everyone I reached out to, um, accepted my apology and it's, it's just been nice. It's been a really good, really good time. Sorry for asking. No, don't be sorry for asking. I have no problem talking about it. I have no problem talking about it and no problem being like open about it. What servers am I on? I play on East and Central. Basically, I've been on my 40-year-old shit. I'll be quiet. Oh, wait. Rocket Yoda. So you didn't hear what I said? That's my goat. Thank you, GC. Like, like genuinely, I've reached out to so many people. And, like, people I haven't spoken to in years that, like, I absolutely should have reached out to sooner. And it sucks that I've waited so long to, to you know do this self-reflection or like I, I try to do self-reflection and like think about my actions and myself all the time but it just you know it hasn't been to this degree in, in a while and yeah it's um i'm just really happy i did and i'm i'm just really i'm really grateful to have met so many kind people and met so many cool people that have you know accepted my apology and just you know met, build those bridges and reconcile those relationships it's been really nice midlife crisis in the 20s is crazy go for it jim you can try wait rocket is your name not rocket yoda how am i supposed to say it That's an unbelievable callus. <laughs> um, I just got up. Wait, how? Yaa? -uh? How do I? Wait, can you tell me how to pronounce it? Is it Yaa? -uh? Y 
Yo Ta. Yota. Rocket Yota. Like that. Ooh, banger. Who requested this? This is more Brazilian music. What do you mean by that, GC? Yota. Yota. Am I saying that right? Just to confirm it for me so I, I'm actually saying your name right. Yota. Paps be like, what are your pronouns? For real. Oh, you meant literally the same state. I meant, I thought you meant state in a more figurative term. Yota. Yota, 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 Yota. Uh, GC, absolutely not. Stay away from me, you psychopath. The song's a banger. I rock with this. Um, what I said is Dab just caught me up in the situation. And I said, what I said is no hard feelings, no problem. Um, I, you know, I don't really care at all. All is forgiven. No worries at all. Okay, Bryce. Rude. No, everyone does shit at their own pace, Silo. That's not bad at all. The fact that the fact that you're you're making strides to do it and making effort is what matters. Penguin Sluver just raided with five viewers. Yo, Penguins Lover, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. I hope you've been good. I hope you're vibing. Thank you so much for spreading the love. Hell yeah. Oh, that's an OG. Oh, never mind. From chill to thrill, here we spill. Oh, that rocks. I'm rocking with that. I'm rocking with that real hard. Damn. Almost had that that demo. Yeah, exactly. Who cares who cares how long it takes? Who cares about how many credits you have? Literally the fact that you're you're doing it and you're putting in that effort and you're and you're just you're in there, that's what matters. Don't don't ever feel bad about that. But um but yeah. Shout out to shout out to Penguins Lovers. Penguin lovers, for real, for real. Shout out, shout out. Thank you so much again. I appreciate the raid. I appreciate you spreading the love. Uh you're very, very kind. I'll properly read chat and say hi to people. Um, after this game, I promise. But let me lock in. I don't want to lose. So I got to do my best to not lose. I've heard this song on TikTok. Ike Turner reference. Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback. I think. Ike Turner, cornerback for the Pittsburgh Steelers reference. Nice. Good 50. You guys are my people. Five years going strong. For what? Jerking your shit. Jerking your, are you jerking your peanuts right now? Have I played on Xbox controller? Uh, yeah, I actually started my, my Rocket League journey. I started playing on Xbox One, and then I went from Xbox One to PlayStation 4, and then I went from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. And I think I like PlayStation 5 the most, and I've been sticking to it for a while. Yo! Jack's filmed reference? 
Wait, who? What? I missed it. Yo, Jack Films talking about SS Sniper Wolf reference? Is that is that the joke? Is that Is that You went to meet AOC? It was before her cringe era. No, I don't play on a PS5. I use a PS5 controller, but I play on PC. I I like the um I like the I like the PlayStation controller a lot. Wait, do y'all like are y'all rocking with my with my bracelet drip? I ha I have the the Portugal I have this Portugal little bracelet that Schley got me or little whatever band. And then uh this this little like rainbow bracelet Lana made for me when I went to Boston. She made it for me and it says no homo. <laughs> VKG LOL just rated Portugal? with Portugal, hell yeah. We're rocking with Portugal. We're rocking with Portugal, Lewis. Your main controller is Xbox 360. Are you serious? Thank you, Louis. I appreciate you. We hate Lana here. We Oh, Del Rey, yeah. Yo, Vekage, how was your stream? You get rewards? Appreciate you. Love you. Shout out to Vekage. Thank you for the raid. You're awesome, Vekage. How is your stream? Reward secured? Yo, shout out Vekage, man. That's awesome. You got you got rewards so early. That's awesome. Shout out Vekage. You're a beast, Vekage. I gotta catch up to you, bro. I've been taking so many breaks. Like I so told you earlier, like I haven't even played in three days. Like I've been slacking so hard, man. I gotta get back on my grinds. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to like Lana Dab. That's fine. That's that's totally valid. It's not like everyone has to love the same person. How did, uh, I think PS5 controllers cost about 65, 70 bucks, but I mean, every controller costs that much, right? So. Okay. Not everyone has to love, love or like the same person, but everyone has to love Louie. You might get one. Yeah. Try it out. Just honestly, if, if you if you don't like it, I would recommend get it at like a store and try it out. And if you don't like it, just return it, you know? Yeah, dude, I like I've been crying so much, dude. Like I I have genuinely probably cried three gallons of tears over the last three days. But like like I said. It's been like, you know, they're like sad tears in some capacity, but it's also like, it's like good positive tears because even though I'm crying, they've, it's led to like, it's, I've reconnected with so many people, you know, it, it, it's been, it's been a W experience. Like I've, I've reconnected with like six IRL friends, five or six IRL friends. Only one hasn't answered, but she's busy, so I don't, you know, I don't expect an answer right away. It was only like a day ago. Um, but other than that, I've reconnected with like five IRL friends. I've reconnected with like, with like 20 online friends. Every single person I've reached out to has been a positive experience besides one. And again, it's, t they're, they chose not to respond and they're totally within their right to do so. You know, I can't make someone forgive me and I can't make someone change how they feel. They're within their right to, to not respond. Um, but literally that's the only person that has chosen not to respond. Every other person has been super positive. I don't regret it at all. I don't regret being vulnerable. I don't regret, you know, accepting my flaws and faults. I don't, I don't regret anything. It's been so awesome. And even though it's been emotionally tough at some points, I think I'm emotionally stronger now than I have been in a long time. So yeah, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. And I'm, I'm really grateful to have met so many cool people that are willing to accept my apology and are willing to be cool and just have no tension and have no, you know, no hate or no malice going forward and you know obviously 
uh, at maybe at some point we can be friends again and like you know uh, communicate relatively regularly and be and be cool. But you know it has to start somewhere. It has to start somewhere for some people. I don't expect to go back to being great friends with everyone immediately. That would be a little bit silly. People people are allowed to heal and forgive at their own rate, and that's totally fine. Are we friends or is this a parasocial relationship? Unfortunately, because I met you IRL, I can't say it's parasocial. I hate it. I really do. It sucks. I hate to say it's not, but like, I actually like you and I actually consider you a friend. It sucks. I hate it. Like, if, put it this way, if I have like, if I've like spoken to you, um, if I've spoken to you like, more than just like in chat or like off stream or whatever like we've connected we've gamed together if i've spoken to you more than just like a chat or two in my stream i consider you a friend you know why wouldn't i y'all are homies <laughs> the shizness is your goat i'm not playing very good in this game i gotta step it up I'm too busy talking to chat and yapping than I am playing right now. Let me lock in. But yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? I, I think, like I said, if, if, if I've spoken to you and had conversations and connected with you on a more personal level beyond just like fucking a couple chats on Twitch, then why wouldn't you be my friend? But like, obviously people that like have come in and said like, hey, and that's it. Like, obviously, damn, 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 damn. That's true, Vekage. I actually, Vekage, Vekage and I are so parasocial. If anything, I feel like I'm more parasocial with people than people are parasocial with me. <laughs> Good heavens. That's unfortunate. That's not on me. Unlucky. I didn't play very good that game though, so I can't complain. Did I watch any of the Euros? I watched the Euro final. And I watched the Copa final. Well, not... I didn't watch the Euro final as much as the Copa final. I watched every second of the Copa final, but the Euro, I was kind of in and out. What's up, Ryan? What's up? What's up, CR7? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I know. I took a couple nights off from YouTube streaming, but we're back. We're back. Well, I took a t couple nights off from streaming in general. Vekage, what do you uh, what do you mean by that? Yeah, what's up, Bob? Been a bit. How are you? What's my fave game mode? Um, probably threes. English or Spanish? If I move, Messi's better than Ronaldo. I already agree. Messi is better than Ronaldo. Hey, I'm I'm happy to hear you're working on yourself and getting better. W Bob. Congratulations on that. I know, GC. Literally so many people who said they would like fight me IRL or talked about how much they hated me. Um didn't like even walk up to me or say anything to me at LAN. I, I literally only had positive experiences at LAN. I had like so many people like, hey, Paps, what's up? And I had like great conversations with people. I took pictures with people and it was awesome.
Lamb was great. I'm, I I met some really cool people IRL, had some great conversations, and yeah, it was just W. <laughs> <laughs> Vekage, I would, if I met you IRL, Vekage, I would give you the biggest fucking hug, I swear. Want the stigma? I do not have a VR headset, sorry. Hey, thank you, I appreciate it. I mean, I am feeling better, you know, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I've gotten a lot of tears out of my system. Um, there's definitely still people that I need to apologize to and reconnect with, but to this point, I've reconnected and apologized to so many people. Uh, you know, it's, it's getting easier to do it and like, you know, ex accept wrongdoings and faults and stuff. I don't think anyone would, Dav, let's be real. Gen X, rise up. Hell yeah. I love how it went from pile driver to hug. I would hug you so hard. I would give you the biggest hug, Beckage. I'm all talk, I can't lie. I'm all talk. I would hug the shit out of you. Wait, are you serious? God, why is Frontal Panda such a fucking loser? I don't understand. Like, what is wrong with him? Is he like, is he like a Trumpy or something? Wait, really? Hugs low-key zesty? I'm zesty as fuck. It makes sense. I'm a little fruitcake. What's up? What's up, dog? Are we rolling up again? Go for it. Hell yeah. If anyone's smoking tonight, take a ripski for me. Y'all are gonna have to be... Y'all are going to have to be taking ripskis for me until I'm uh, off my cannabis break. I still I still have a long time to go, so there's going to have to be many rips taken for me. He's known for harassing women and being stupid as fuck. It's just so crazy how even people like him who are known to be weird and like assholes and like very strange, like there's so much there is, there is slash was so much animosity for me on Rocket League Twitter that just pressing the paps button gets you so many likes and people like circle jerking in your replies. Like, I can't lie, it's kind of crazy. Hell yeah, Beza. You'll eat an extra edible. Please don't get too zooted. Please still be safe and be responsible. He unironically wears a wife beater. In my cringe era, I used to unironically wear wife beaters. Your boobs are sore, chest day. I stayed with two days ago and that makes sense when I used to lift if you have a nice chest day it, it be hurting for like a solid a solid two three days yo Lucas what's up thanks for the follow I appreciate you nah in in my cringe era I wore stuff like that unironically I'm still like in my cringe era, but I'd like to think that we're slowly leaving it, you know? We're slowly working out of the cringe era. Nice. I'm playing pretty good today for the most part. 
when I'm actually like focusing and playing, it's going pretty good. Sub if you're straight as a watermark on every vid. Bro, I've literally seen Rocket League videos blow up with thousands of likes on like TikTok and YouTube shorts that are like, oh, if I score this, I'm gay. And then that's like them missing a shot, but they're like not being ironic. Eminem, Frontal Panda like the new Eminem album. I mean, of course people like Frontal Panda like the new Eminem album. Being cringe is being free. True, it just depends what kind of cringe. Dark Demise, would you like to queue together? Like plus sab or gay? Bro, why is he so cringe? Like, what a loser, man. Like, bro, it is so funny. It is so funny the amount of people, like, okay, let me put it this way. I'm going to I'm going to try to say this in like I'm going to try to say this in like a, the most not toxic way I can. But you're yes, you're I GC I liked it and, and replied. How do you friend people in Rocket League? They making money from it? Yeah, of course. He he probably has Twitter blue. But it's like Wait, did I put your song in the queue, Jim? Hold on. Dude, I'm... Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm not putting gotta gee chicken nugget in again. Suck my left nut. You fucking freak. <laughs> um, okay. So, like, let me put it this way. A lot of these, a lot of these people who were being reactionary to, again, uh, my, my, definitely my, I admit, I admit it and I take fault in like, in my tweet, it being a little bit edgy, a little bit reactionary. I mean, obviously it's okay to admit that. I understand. Um, but it's so funny that a lot of these people who were like up in arms about how um a lot of these people who are up in arms about how oh my tweet was so horrible and how dare i wish death on someone and how dare i say this and so on and so forth like we're massive we're mass hate reporting me and you know the reason why i got banned in the first place which again i truly do not care i think I think getting banned on Twitter was genuinely a blessing in disguise because my mental health has just been getting better and better and better. The more I stay away from that platform, it is such a toxic cesspool of a platform. Twitter is genuinely a right wing shithole. Like the way, the way, um, the way it's been run since Elon Musk has taken over, there are literally Nazis who have, and I'm not even joking, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not joking. Twitter is genuinely a platform where people who can self-identify as white nationalist, who can self-identify as Nazis, who can self-identify as groipers, which again is a, is like a just a different way to say white nationalist, which is a Nazi. Um like it's a platform where that is allowed to happen those people are allowed to amass followings and they're allowed to just exist and spread their opinions like there are people who are saying shit like like jewish conspiracy theories about how jews control the world and how they secretly pull all the strings and own all the banks literally nazi conspiracy theories they're allowed to just spread that shit and just be literally so anti-Semitic and so messed up and all that horrible shit and they don't get banned and they're allowed to thrive. But if you like criticize that or say shit that is again, like not even close to equally as fucked up or edgy, then, you know, you get mass reported and taken off.
Yeah, true. That's my president. Listen, listen. Like, I think saying what I said, like, put it this way. He DM'd it to, um, I, you know, I don't want to say too many names. Someone that Dav works with, okay? And, well, let me put it this way. Um, a lot of these people, again, as I explained, a lot of these people that are talking about how my tweet is so horrible and they're doing shit like this, they're like DMing people, oh no, Dav agrees with Paps and blah, 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 blah. A lot of these people who are doing this stuff are the same people who talk about, oh, cancel culture is so cringe. Or, oh, oh my God, people are so soft nowadays. Oh my God, woke people are so annoying. Oh my God, everything is so weak nowadays. You can't say what you used to say. Blah, blah, blah. Cancel culture this. Blah, 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 blah. You can't even say what you want nowadays. People are so weak. The same people that no, in no doubt and in no way say stuff like that are the same people that were freaking out over my tweet. These are the same people. Like I saw one dude. I look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let me just give you an, e <laughs> my God, let me give you an example of one of the people that was freaking out over my tweet. Okay. All right. Let me show you. Look at this person. I, sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the nerd voice for this. Ready? I fucking warned you, Paps. You and the rest of these weirdo losers claiming to not be for political violence while simultaneously wishing Trump had been assassinated isn't only hypocritical of you and speaks volumes about your character. Next, Twitch. Good luck. Look at what this motherfucker tweets at the same time. A black person murdered a white person. It happens all the fucking time. And someone tweeted, like, people fucking murder people. It's not fucking indicative of their fucking skin color or a race crime. Do you want to know what is a race crime most of the time? When white people talk about how much they hate black people and then, you know, write a fucking manifesto and murder black people. But they will make any crime or any murder um, like something like this. Someone said, watch white people find a way to make this about race. And then you have this motherfucker saying, cope, stereotypical behavior, and you can't prove it wrong. Stay pressed, old man. Literally being racist as fuck, saying it's stereotypical behavior for a black person to murder people. Like, this is the type of person that we're talking about. This motherfucker is saying it's hypocritical of me and saying shit when he's racist as fuck. It's like, bro, like these people aren't real. The cognitive dissonance in their brain is unbelievable. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't get it. It's so weird. Like, these motherfuckers don't have a single, like, comparative thought in their brain. Like, bro, how are you going to fucking simultaneously say I'm gross and disgusting for a fucking joke and then at the same time tweet something that isn't a joke? You're just fucking being racist. You're being a racist freak. Hi, Spooky. I love your kitty. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you fucking talking about? Like, you're so weird. Like, these motherfuckers aren't real. Like, those are the type of people... Like, bro, I'm not joking. I saw multiple people who were on my fucking... On my fucking wiener about that tweet. I go to, I go to their profile. I go to their profile. And these motherfuckers are um, talking about how trans people are pedophiles and rapists. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, what do you, like, like, these motherfuckers don't have an actual fucking coherent thought in their brain. Hey, peace out, CR7. I appreciate you. Black person gets killed. The right says, well, they weren't an angel by any means. Cishet white person literally murders people and, oh, they have a full future ahead of them and the person they killed was bad. Yeah, dude, put it this way. Put it this way. George Floyd literally gets murdered by a cop. And it is proven in a court of law that the cop murdered him, like literally proven by a jury and everything. 
that he murdered him. There's no fucking if ands or buts about it. And these motherfuckers are still running defense for the cop saying, oh, George Floyd, actually, you know, he stole something like five years ago. You know, he fuck he deserved it, whatever. He was a criminal. These motherfuckers are so fucking apathetic and dismissive to minority death. They don't give a fuck when trans people get murdered. They don't give a fuck when black people get murdered. They don't give a fuck when any marginalized group gets murdered. But if someone makes a dark joke about someone who, again, didn't die, didn't get hurt, then they go up in arms. I do agree. Again, I do agree it was reactionary because I do think that if Trump did get murdered, and Trump did get assassinated, that would have been really, really, really bad for the reasons that, like, there would have been political violence. There would have been political violence. There would have been more people would have got hurt. More people would have got injured. Trumpies and Republicans would have went insane. And we know that. So ultimately, it was a very good thing that he did not get assassinated. Like, no matter how you feel about the guy, I fucking hate Trump. I think he's a horrible person. I think he's an evil person, not even just horrible. I think he's evil. But regardless, if he had got assassinated, that would have been, there would have been so much political violence and so much like probably more death and destruction that it would have been really, really, really bad. And I agree with that. What's up, R RLX? How are you doing? So ultimately, I don't think that Trump dying would have been awesome in that scenario. I think it would have been really bad um, for the reasons that I just stated. Again, but let's, let's be clear. Trump is a convicted rapist. He is a pedophile linked with Jeffrey Epstein, who has eight pedophile allegations against him. If, if you took Trump's name out of the equation and you told conservatives that a pedophile rapist almost got shot and killed, I guarantee they probably would be saying shit like, oh, darn, I wish they got him. Fuck pedophiles. Fuck rapists. They should all be killed. Garen fucking T that they would say that 100%. And I don't like there's there's just no way anyone would ever disagree with that. These people who are saying you should never wish death on anyone. How dare you? Also, not to mention, all these people are saying shit like, oh, God saved Trump. God saved Trump. It was divine intervention. What about the motherfucker that actually got shot and killed? Which, again, he wasn't a great person either. But how the fuck are you going to say that shit? Like, like what the fuck? Did, did God swerve the bullet and just... <laughs> God swerved the bullet onto Trump's ear and just fucking assassinated or murdered someone else behind him. Like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, how the like, like, how does that compute any sense? Like, oh, God, divine intervention, swerved the bullet off of Trump, killed someone else and injured two others. What the fuck are you talking about? And again, not to mention. To, to take the conversation even away from that. If you guys didn't know, I don't know the exact number now. It's probably more. It's probably more. But on that date, July 15th, 14th, whatever date it was, that, is, that was considered a mass shooting event. Trump got injured. Two people got critically injured. Someone died. The, the, the whatever, Corey, whatever the fuck his, his name was. And, um, and, um, the shooter died. It was considered a mass shooting event. All right. Because four people or more got got hurt or hurt or died. Um RJV, thank you. Appreciate that. It was uh two people got critically injured. Two people died including the shooter. And then Trump got hit in the ear or whatever. So, yeah, you, ne you never knew that because they didn't talk about it. They don't give a shit about the people that actually got hurt and died. Hey, it was not a part of the big story. Glitch, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Anyway, again, as I was saying, that event was the 34th mass shooting in July. You heard that right. Halfway through the month, 
we have had 34 mass shooting events this month. That is crazy, bro. Why are we not talking about gun violence? Why are we not talking about gun reform? Why are, why are the people who are so up in arms about this attempted political assassination not talking about preventing it going forward? Why are we not talking about stopping mass shootings? Why, why is it thoughts and prayers for the innocent kids and innocent people that die every single day in school shootings, in mass shootings, in psychos who, who get guns legally and kill people with these guns that they acquired legally? Why are we not talking about that? It's so frustrating. It's like, I, I don't, man, it, it's so frustrating. It's so like, please, can we fucking do something to stop this violence? How many innocent people need to die? Like, bro, the person that did the attempted the assassination was a registered Republican. He was one of your own. He killed someone. Like, why can't we talk about gun reform, man? Like, please. Don't you want this violence to stop? Don't you don't you want these things to be basically rare or extinct? Like come on man. Like this is so frustrating. Why is that not a part of the conversation? Why are we not talking about that? Again, how many innocent people need to die until we actually do something, dude? It's so frustrating. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of innocent kids and people dying and politicians just say thoughts and prayers thoughts and prayers it's gun it's people not guns and then they do nothing absolutely nothing that is absolute okay redemption i understand what you're saying and i think i understand that it is hard i don't think gun reform is something that will happen overnight i don't think gun reform will be something that is easy if you didn't know there's a hundred thirty percent the amount of guns than there are people in, in America, if you didn't know that. 130%. That's insane. There's more guns than people in this country. Unbelievable fact. But again, there's ways to do gun reform. You could do government buyback programs. You can do government buyback buyback programs where the government, you can send in your gun, they'll pay you for it, and and boom. That's that's one way to do it. You can make it incre you can make it incredibly harder to do. You know, you can make it incredibly harder to do. You can make it way stricter. You can make it way harder. You can do all these things to restrict it and make it harder to get guns. You can do gun buyback. There's so many ways that you can go about this. But again, like like just because something is hard doesn't mean that we can't do the right thing and make it and make it easier or sorry, make it harder to get weapons that are so deadly and kill so many people. Aquamax, America is, I think there's, I think Brazil. And Bra guess where Brazil gets their weapons? You guessed right, here. But America is the only country in the world where all these, ma like, hold on, let me look it up. Let me show you. Mass shooting numbers by country. Like once you once you look at this, once you look at this, it just really opens up your fucking eyes as to how unbelievable the numbers are. Where's the numbers per country? Look at this. Look at this. Look at, bro, look at gun violence and mass shootings by country. Look at this. Look at this shit. America, 109. The next country, six. Hold on. Let me, let me show it YouTube. I'll show you as well. Sorry. Look at this on YouTube. Sorry. Look at this. Look at this fucking bullshit, man. It is on, the numbers are on, this is the only country where this is happening at this rate.
Bro, Redemption and Dav, please, man, please, stop. Please, chill, chill. If you don't like each other, whatever, just fucking relax. Bro, look how insane these stats are. How are we not doing something about this? Over 70% of mass shootings in developed countries happen in U.S. International analysis shows. Bro, look at the chart. Look at this fucking chart. This is, this is unbelievable. This is not, this is not something that is inevitable. This is not something that needs to happen. Very clearly, other countries have it figured out. Other countries know what the fuck they're doing. It's us. It's our policies. It's our smooch. You didn't do a smooch. This is not something. This is not something that is inevitable, like, like a natural disaster. This is not something that can't be fixed with reform. This is not something that can't be fixed with some sort of regulations. Every other country has it figured out besides us. It's the insane people that value guns over human life, man. Again, 70% of mass shootings in developed countries happen in the U.S. That's unbelievable. This is... This is I, I don't even know what to say. Is there more graphs to visualize this? Mass shootings and death. Like, it's just not close. It's not close. Every single graph... Every graph. And look at this. Wow, what a surprise. The amount of civilians that own guns. Worst mass shootings in U.S. since 1991. Number of public mass shooters compared to every other fucking nation. Europe, Australia, Africa, Asia, South America. It's not even close. Would Trump not put a stop to it? People like Trump support this. People like Trump support people having weapons. People like Trump want this to happen. It is people like Trump's policies and Trump's rhetoric that, that have led to stuff like this happening. He doesn't want regulation. He doesn't want stricter gun reform. In fact, he wants to make it easier for people to own guns. Like, it, it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop unless something is actually done. It's so... What the fuck is it? Rate of firearm homicide by 100%. 100,000 population? Studies show countries with fewer guns per capita have less gun deaths. Wow, what a shocker. What a crazy study. What a fucking wild study. United... The United States is an outlier in childhood deaths from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. Evaluation Again, again, this isn't an inevitability. This isn't, this isn't like a natural disaster. Again, it is, it is absolutely a USA exclusive problem. Even Eminem made a song and video calling for a ban on gun violence. Ray or Eminem W. I'm not saying I support Trump, but Biden has had four years to do something and he hasn't. So isn't he to blame too? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I will admit, I fucking, I hate Biden, but he has at least done more for gun reform than someone like Trump. Again, I hate Biden, but he has at least done more for gun reform than Trump. And that's like a very rare Biden W. I hate Biden. But yeah, it's just, it's, is this, is this for America? Number of mass shootings per year? I don't know. I don't know if this is just America. So I don't want to look at that. 
30 years of mass shootings by country. No offense, but the U.S. is messed up. No, no offense taken. I agree. U.S. is fucked up. I agree. Um, look at this. Again, I hate... I hate to keep repeating myself and I hate to keep showing graphs that are saying the same thing. But again, I just need to hammer into our heads that this, this is not like, uh, th this is, this is not something that happens in other countries. This is a USA problem. This is a USA problem. This is a, our these this, our laws, our policies, our politicians. They do not give a fuck about human life. They do not give a fuck about preventing innocent people dying. They care more about your stupid fucking right to have your goddamn murder weapon than people actually being alive. It's so fucked up. It's so wrong. And again, so many people have been brainwashed into believing that it's an inevitability. Oh, it's people, not guns. Oh, it's people, not guns. Okay, then why? So are you telling me that the USA is so much more fucked up for people than every other country that we're just shooting people? No. Very clearly, it's our policy. Like, whatever. Yeah, I know. I fucking hate Joe Biden. He has mashed potatoes for brains. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to take a bathroom break, and I'm going to do the last segment of stream. I'm going to be ending very shortly. I do need to be going to sleep. Um, I don't want to fuck up my sleep schedule two days or three days after I fix it. Um, firearm mortality by state. Oh, very weird. Oh, that's really weird. Wow, it's almost... The, the states that have more gun reform and the states that have more strict regulations are states where less gun deaths happen. I'm so surprised to hear that. It's almost like gun reform and gun regulation works. Crazy. Yours is fucked. I just fixed my sleep schedule, so I really don't want to fuck it up again. Bye, Roxanne. Love you. The last segment is going to be ranked Rocket League. Okay. I'm going to take a bathroom break. Sorry for ranting for like 20 minutes right there, but this is something I'm very passionate about. This is something I care about a lot, and I'm so sick of innocent people dying and politicians just going, dots and prayers, my prayers go to the family, and then not doing anything about it. It's so stupid. You're passionate about gun violence, yet you wanted Trump to be shot. Um, actually, if you heard me about 10 minutes ago, I said it would have been a bad thing, and I, I retract my statement. I think if Trump got shot, it would have been a bad thing, not because I don't think he's a piece of shit person that I don't care about getting shot, but I do care about the innocent people that would have died if he did get shot. That's for sure. I think Trump getting killed would have been a bad thing because Trumpies and Republicans would have went crazy and probably just killed minorities and killed people that they considered are liberal, even though, even though the shooter was a registered Republican. Yeah, so I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. The, the shooter was a registered Republican. It wasn't a liberal. It wasn't a Democrat. Like, that... Put it this way, put it this way. I'm passionate about gun violence and the people who are at that rally supporting Trump and supporting conservative laws and supporting conservative values led to that mass shooting happening. Their, their laws, their, their values, what they want, the NRA, that let their values and their laws led to that shooting happening because they made it they make it easier for people to get guns. They don't care about gun reform. They want as many people to have guns and make it as easy as possible. That gun was legally acquired. Did you see that the last Google search was of the shooter? No, what was it? It's like like their own policies are leading to gun violence like exactly what happened, yet they don't give a fuck. Like like please. So again, do I think Trump getting shot would have been a good thing? No, I retract that. I think it would have been bad because a lot more people might have died and a lot more political violence would have happened. But again, I made a joke about someone who, again, is a convicted rapist 
connected with Jeffrey Epstein and has eight child pedophile allegations going, okay? So keep that in mind. If you retracted Trump from that statement, I guarantee you if, I'm, if I said something about like, oh, a, a convicted rapist and pedophile almost got shot, I guarantee if you took Trump's name out of that, people would be like, oh, darn, I wish he got shot. He would have got what's coming to him. Oh, fuck pedophiles. Fuck rapists. Who cares? Who cares if he gets shot? Guaranteed that would have happened. It was the hub. That's pretty funny, Alchemax. It's it's 100% true. And how much do you want to bet the people that were telling me that I shouldn't, but perhaps my little Trump, I guarantee the people that were on my ass about making a joke about someone dying have absolutely made a joke about Biden dying, have absolutely, that people were joking about Paul Pelosi getting attacked with hammers. These people were joking about George Floyd dying. These people were joking about it's okay to joke about people dying and minimize death and tell it's someone that you like and someone you care about when it's not a minority. How about how about the trans people that get murdered because they're trans and people make fun of them and say, "Oh, they deserved it," you know? Some people aren't going to put up with that delusion. What are you gonna, what's to say, you know? Some people just don't like trans people. Maybe don't be mentally ill. It's okay to make fun of death when it's a minority group that you don't like. But again, when it's, when it's someone as evil as Trump, then it's fine. Then, you know, don't, or sorry, don't make fun of that. That's really bad. You can't make a joke about that. It's so hypocritical. It's so stupid. And yeah, whatever. Yes, Donald Trump has literally went forward and said he is going to ban trans people from accessing health care. And, ac and, and like he said, I'm so I'm so sick of this gender hysteria. Uh, there's only two genders. I will I will ban trans people. He's literally said that he like he literally wants to erase trans people from existence. Yet I'm supposed to care if this person gets injured. I'm supposed to care. This person wants trans people to die and no longer exist. Why should I care about someone like that potentially dying? Like genuinely, he, his policies and his rhetoric are going to lead to many other people getting injured and dying. What, like, like honestly, he's a very evil person. Again, not to mention convicted rapist and pedophile connected with Jeffrey Epstein. All I'm saying. Anyways, I'm taking a bathroom break. I'll be right back. By the way, Mike Smooch. Mwah. I'm not making my name that feckage. Take your points back. Okay. BRB, BRB. BRB, BRB, BRB. Hi, Dylan. I'm sorry. I, I, I popped off right there. I ranted for a while, but again, it's something I'm very passionate about. So yeah. All right. I'll be right back.
identify as a bad bitch. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Period. Period. <laughs> that was cringe, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm new here. Hey, well, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for listening to me, even though I, I'm a... If you couldn't tell, I'm a yapper. If you want to see my pronouns, Aqua, uh, just do command pronouns. Um... Most people aren't voting for policies. If you actually give a political party test, most people are moderates and fall between both. I mean, Democrats and Republicans are two sides of the same coin, if we're being honest. They're, they, they're both on the same side, and the only thing that separates them is certain culture war issues. That's really it. Ultimately, they are on the same side, if we're being honest. I don't know who this is. Wait, I got you. Oh, I got you, Kaos. I got you. I got you, sweetheart. All right, last segment of stream is no more political rant. Um, let's play some Rocket League. Let's play football. <laughs> let's play football. Uh, um channel points All right, I got you. Oh, you like my rants? It makes me hopeful. I try my best. I, I try my best. You know, I, I look forward to hopefully going on less rants in the future, but I also never want to be shy to talk about things, you know? I don't want to be like a fence rider. I want people to know where I stand. Oh, shit. My bad. 1630 is my twos. What are you in twos? That is Fugu, you're very true. No, we can play three, that's fine. You respect that? Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Conqueror, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we're two follows away from the follow goal. Hey, are there two people here that haven't followed yet? That would be pretty crazy if you drop the follow. That's all I'm saying. Drink some water. I got you. I got you. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, Dylan. That's what I'm saying. People people be like, oh, come on. Don't let don't let politics separate us. We can have different opinions and still be friends. And the opinion is, yeah, I think trans people are mentally ill and shouldn't exist. And or don't exist. I don't respect your right to exist as a human being. Oh, okay, yeah, I can put that aside. No problem, what's up, bud? You wanna go golfing later? Gay CS is gay CS Valorant. People be like, come on, you can have different politics and different opinions and still be friends. And then people be like, yeah, actually, I think immigrants like should all be deported and like don't deserve to be here. And also, I don't care if they die. It's their fault for trying to come here while my mom is literally a fucking immigrant. Oh, OK. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, I could be friends with you. You sound like a good guy. I'm literally a first generation immigrant. My mom came here from Portugal when she was four.
Yeah, Trump said deport all immigrants. He said, bro, in Trump's speech, God, I don't want to rant about politics again, but in Trump's speech that he did yesterday or two days ago, whenever the fuck the RNC speech was, he said there were hundreds of thousands of deaths that were happening due to illegal migrants. Like, Schlag is just straight up lying, and he's stoking the flames. He's stoking the flames of division to the point where his rhetoric is going to result in innocent immigrants dying. I don't understand how people don't say that. Like, oh, it's okay to speak so callously about immigrants just being murdered and dying and saying that they're all murderous rapists. But, you know, that's not... That's not political violence, you know, that's not, that's not, like, hateful rhetoric. That's totally fine. People, people, people be like, oh, Paps, I didn't know you were a first-gen immigrant or your mom was an immigrant. You're white. Oh, okay, yeah. That's cool. So we're all, so we're only hateful and caring about the immigrants of color. Oh, okay, yeah. Just way, way to, way to just fucking put it all out there, I guess. Yeah, my, my pronouns are right there, Conquer. I got gotcha. you. No worries. My hands are getting sweaty. My game playing is to get sweaty, that's for fucking sure. Protons in bio. Opinion discarded. I don't, I don't think that's a normal first chat, but I'm in a good mood, so it's fine. Villain, I agree. Last one, Trump, I wonder what his reaction would be if you asked him what he identified as. It's pretty easy to tell when a person is transphobic because you ask them, like, their pronouns or you ask them, like, you know, what they identify as or whatever, and they'll be like, What? I don't do pronouns. What do you mean? I don't use pronouns. It's like, oh, uh, no, you do. Uh, don't know what you're talking about. I don't do that pronoun shit, buddy. What do you mean? No, <laughs> oh, that's tough. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like, uh, it is so funny that people act like immigrants are not the backbone of this country. This country was founded on immigrants. And not even to mention that immigrant labor is literally the backbone of our economy, the backbone of our GDP, genuinely. Do you know how many, like, immigrants are here and working and contributing? so fucking many it's unbelievable they are literally the backbone of this economy if you de if you deported immigrants then boom there goes there goes our fucking gdp and economy like genuinely it's it's so asinine to assume differently who the fuck are we to say as descendants of immigrants that literally came here genocided the native american population and took their land who the fuck are we to say that people can't come into the country and ask and get a better life? How does that make any sense?
Like, are we forgetting our history? Are we forgetting what this country was founded on? Like, what's up? No? Very, very true, Dylan. Callus, that's normal. It's okay. You're nervous. You're nervous? It's fine. We're the same exact rank in twos. Yeah. I'm getting off after a few more two dark demise, so that's perfect. Whenever you get off, I get off. <laughs> Not on some sus shit, though, if you know what I mean. Protect the kids. I want to protect the kids. Unless they're trans, gay, immigrants, black, Mexican, any sort of marginalized community. Otherwise, protect the kids. Protect the kids. Unless it's someone that I like doing the pedophilia. Oh, Dr. Disrespect? It was just a mistake. He didn't mean to. Oh, He didn't mean to sexually message someone he knew as a minor and try to meet up with them at TwitchCon. Aqua Max, you're... I'm glad you came around. Oh, my bad. Oh, nice. I'm glad you came around. You're, you're dope. Like, honestly, I thought YouTube would have been more toxic, but genuinely, I have met way more cool people on YouTube than I have, uh, than I would have expected. Like, the amount of cool people to weirdos is, like, 80 to 20. Nice. Hey, no worries, Louie. Appreciate you. Love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to be hopping off. I'll, I'll be hopping off within 20 minutes. Like I said, I really don't want to fuck up my sleep schedule. And I already slept a little bit earlier, which I know that's not really how sleep works. But as long as I sleep for like six hours, I'll get up by like 11-ish. That's totally fine with me. As long... Put it this way. For my sleep... As long as I'm getting up between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., that's a totally fine range for me to get up. I don't mind. That that means I'm not missing the whole day and, like, you know, regretting sleeping in, you know? So, I woke, I've woken up at, I woke up at uh, 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday, or sorry, Thursday. Yes, on thir Thursday? No, I woke up at 10.30 a.m. on Friday. Today, I woke up at 10.15 a.m., so I'm already on track. I've already been doing good, and like I said, as long as I wake up between 10 and 12, I'm super happy with that. That's exactly where I want my sleep schedule to be. Earlier, fine. Later, I wouldn't be so happy. I don't want it to start slipping. I think, I think that's... Uh, I think, you know... That's totally fine and good for me. Gives me a lot of time to do what I need to do. Time to work out. Time to do chores. Time to go about my day and be a normal human. And interact with people and whatever. And it also gives me time to uh, edit and stuff before I stream. So. That's cool. Trans magnet. Dude, I genuinely feel like I've like attracted so many trans people on YouTube. It's kind of crazy. I actually am a trans magnet and I love it. Welcome, my people. Welcome in. Is streaming my main source of income? Yes. St I streaming is, but it's not my only source of income. It's my main one, but not my only one. Xylo on Twitch. 
uh, yo, yo, if, if you, uh, I think there's a command. It's like update name, update name or whatever. Hey, thank you, Dylan. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. God, there's, so, I'm so grateful to have so many cool ass people like that I've met and stuff. What is the command? I don't know if it's update name or something. I've seen people use it before. I've seen people use it where they change their name on Twitch and it updates on um, on stream elements. Fuck, I forget what it is. Mm, does anyone know? Hi, Cal. <clears throat> Someone try what Fugu just said. You'll know if the command works if it like says like it'll give you like a confirmation. Hi, Battery Chris. How are you? Uh-oh. Yeah, the other source of income is my Feet Finder account. A big-ass coffee? Yeah, I've been literally sipping on that all day. I've been like, have a good night. Yo, you as well, Dylan. Appreciate you. Love you. Have a good one. Thanks for being cool, as always. I've been sipping on it, like, literally all day. I I'm so bad about that. I gotta start... I gotta start being better about actually like drinking my coffee at like a normal pace. Damn, bro. Not the feet finder. I got you. I'll put I'll put your song in too after uh, this game. I'll put in all this. I see a couple songs in there. I gotta put in. I got you. I know, Cal. Dude, I recently fixed my sleep schedule, and I've gotten up like at 10 a.m. the past two days and that's why I'm going to be ending stream like very shortly so I can actually stick to that. I was just saying as long as I get up between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. I'm happy and if I go to bed I've already like you know I'm all I gotta do is brush my teeth and go to sleep so pretty much after stream I'm gonna brush my teeth wash my face uh, clean my piercings, clean my nose piercing and ears piercings, and then go to sleep. I've been doing such a good job taking care of my piercings. My nose piercing looks so good right now. It's been, it's been 15 days and the swelling is down. Um, there's very minimal scabbing and it looks great. So I'm hoping that it continues to look great. I've been cleaning my piercings twice a day, every day with the wound wash, as well as in the shower, I, I give it like a nice little, a little gentle rub around to, to make sure I'm getting all that yuckiness out of there and not letting it clog up. Here. Wait, did you find the command out? Damn, I think he had that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I just woke Slee up again. You don't understand. It was a really close shot. I'm sorry. I just turned Slee. I just woke her up because I became Donald Duck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate when I do that. I literally forget that I have someone sleeping in my room sometimes. 
I know. You went from 600 to pretty much zero. Dude, I... Do you want to hear a very, very, very sad fact that I discovered recently? I thought Dr. Pepper Zero had no caffeine. And I, th and I didn't know that um, Sunkissed and Fanta also had caffeine. So when I was shopping at Target today for Zero Sugar Soda, I couldn't buy Dr. Pepper and I couldn't buy Sunkissed because they have caffeine. And I was so sad. I was crying. I, I wasn't actually crying, but I love Dr. Pepper. But I don't, I can't have caffeine. It's, I, I can't, I cannot allow myself to have a caffeine addiction ever again. And it made me so sad. Forfeit? Okay. Loser ass. I think sore winners are worse than sore losers. Your reaction was worth it, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I um I haven't had ginger ale for a while, but I remembered liking it, so I um I got that. I I'm I'm one hundred percent going to stick to zero caffeine soda or zero sugar soda. Like it doesn't make sense for me to choose zero sugar soda to be healthier while at the same time um you know getting sh soda that has caffeine and that because that's not good for me you were dying laughing dude it was so close um so like sodas that i'm you know uh starry has zero sugar uh sprite has zero sugar Canada Dry has zero sugar, and I also got, um, I got, like, cherry-flavored Canada Dry, so I'm gonna be trying that, too. It hopefully is pretty good. Getting off soda, too? Try zero sugar. Dude, I don't know how I didn't have my flip on that still. That was a little bit silly. Um, I don't have cranberry, but I have cherry. So yeah, I, I kind of like, I was so, I was so locked in to, to getting zero sugar soda because it's, you know, obviously better for you. No cows, no sugar, all that good stuff. But I, I was being oblivious to the fact that zero sugar soda also has caffeine like some zero sugar sodas have caffeine so i was having caffeine and not even realizing it and once i figured it out obviously i'm correcting that but um i think i did have a slight caffeine addiction again uh for a little bit so i had the last time i had caffeine besides today was last thursday so i didn't have it for uh I didn't have it for like nine days or whatever, and I, I broke it again, which is nice. Um, and now, now I'm gonna go back to just, you know, having a coffee. I like to have coffee like a couple times a week. You know, it's not, I enjoy coffee, I like the taste, and you know, it's not bad to have caffeine here and there, but I will never allow myself to, to have a caffeine addiction again. It's honestly, Bright, it's pretty close. Yeah, I mean, like, diet, like, diet soda is still going to help you with your hydration, but obviously it's not going to be of the same health benefits of, of water, obviously, you know. It's still going to help with your hydration, just not, not to the degree, like, you know, you don't want to use soda as a replacement for water. That's not good. That's why I'm still very, um, you know, I, I actually recently I downloaded an app that helps me track my water intake. And I, um, I've been staying on top of how much water I've been having daily. And it's nice. It, it helps me. Like, so not only now am I also, you know, keeping track of what I eat, 
but I'm also keeping track of my hydration and how much water I'm having. So, yeah. Yeah, that's really bad, Breitch. Or Breitch. Uh, Xylo, sorry. That's not very good. Oh, nice try. You don't like hitting the target right now, target demise, huh? Purple equals you. Yeah, you have the same color. Sorry, that was my mistake. You, dude, Cal, Breitch, and Xylo all like have the same exact color. Sheep. But, uh, yeah, so, don't, we're, we're back, oh, we're back to being fully off our, our caffeine addiction shit. The only caffeine I'll be consuming is from the coffee that I have a couple times a week, and I'm more than happy with that. Dude, I, like, you know, I've made so many positive changes in my life recently, you know, I know I'm talking about it a lot, but I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for for watching what I eat and, and dieting and like having a food tracking app. I'm proud of myself for watching my water intake and having a water intake app. I'm proud of myself for, for fixing my sleep schedule. I'm proud of myself for getting back into working out. I've still been working out and I've been on my shit. Um, and it's, you know, it's going very well still. Um, I'm proud of myself for, dude, I've been posting content daily on my platforms for 32 days in a row now. That's so crazy. I went from not posting consistently to posting every day for over a month. And I've been growing on all my platforms again. I've been growing on YouTube. I've been growing on Instagram. The only platform that's been kind of like, uh, it's been kind of like stagnant is TikTok. But that's fine. I don't really care that much. Um, and Twitch too. I've been growing on Twitch again too. It's just been great. I'm I'm very proud of myself for the for the healthier choices I've made recently. I just I, hopefully I stick to them. Hopefully I stick to them for the foreseeable future. Oh, and also, also I am on a long cannabis break. I'm on. I'm currently in the middle of a two three month cannabis break. So that's also a healthy thing. I'm proud of myself. Thank you, Fugu. I already gave your flowers. I need to make fun of you now. <laughs> Obviously, I don't, I'm not like the fucking epitome of health, but I've made a lot of healthy choices and I'm proud of myself. Wait, Dark Demise, why? I'm probably not even going to finish that coffee and just like, Maybe I'll leave it for tomorrow or something. But at the same time... I don't know. I'll probably just like... I don't know. It is caffeinated, so... Caffeine doesn't, like, affect my sleep. At least I don't think it does. It doesn't, like, keep me wired and stick keep me awake. It does help me focus, but I don't know. I also don't want to split a coffee up over two days and have caffeine two days in a row. Damn. I'm just done a bad job actually drinking that. Ooh, that's true. That's a good idea. I kind of rock with that idea. Coffee ice cubes sound sound kind of kind of epic. Oh, 
Oh, I messed up. Oopsie. Ooh. Faking. Of course, of course. No problem. I feel like coffee ice cubes also are probably like really tasty too. You could probably just like suck on them. Oh, also weight update. You know how I said I want my my target weight is somewhere between 115 and 120. Um, I weighed myself the other day and it said 121.4 or something like that. It was like 121.2 or 0.4. So, dude, we're getting so close. I'm getting slow, so close, and I'm going to be able to, like, maintain soon. I'm so excited. It's still going to take a while, but I'm, I'm so close. I'm so close to getting to that target weight. And keep in mind, that is a healthy weight for me, and an okay weight, because I am 5'3". Let's remember that. so close I want to be snatched as fuck so I've also been doing I've also been doing like squats and stuff too <laughs> I've been doing squats and like working out my muscles and stuff too so I've been doing like cardio and stuff like three four days a week and then I've been doing like some body weight stuff and like exercising my muscles as well Get ready. My final form is yet to be achieved. That's nice. It's nice especially because, oh fuck. Ah. It's nice especially because at one point, like last summer, I was like, oh, I trolled. Yeah, it's fucking hard troll, my fault. At one point last summer, I was like 145. So I've like, I've lost quite a bit of weight. I didn't even realize I was that ex that heavy at one point. And I say that heavy, I'm again, speaking relatively for me. I am, I am very short. And, it, and also, keep in mind, not everyone's body is the same. And different people's bodies have different, like, target weights and healthy weights for them. Also, keep that in mind. There's no one size fits fits all for everyone. That's also very important to remember. You should get back to the gym. Do it. It's awesome. I feel great. Like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not lying. I think, I genuinely think making these positive, healthy choices in my life, like working out, eating healthier, drinking more water, all that stuff has, has absolutely contributed to me feeling better. It's so fucked up. They were, they were right. They were right about dieting and eating better and drinking more water and working out. It makes you feel better. Fuck this chungus life. Hi, Rachel. What's my height? I am five foot three. That in? I ain't never did this before, no. Hell yeah, no Xylo. That would only be a benefit. Five three on a good day? Okay, rude. Rude, but understandable. Gonna flip. Not in. No. Damn. Every just kick off go after kick off go after kick off go on, man. I never did this before, no. I never did this before, no. 
Okay. All right, let's play one more and then a win and be done. I never did this before, no. I never did this before, no. I never did this before, no. Hey, you know what? I give off tall energy. Nothing wrong with that. Just accept it. Just accept it. We just beat those guys, Dark Demise. What do you mean? You were thinking like 5'9"? Okay. So to Fugu, I give off average height energy. Hey, leave the fucking game. Yeah, twos, twos is all about pressuring sooner. Twos is all about pressuring sooner and not like not letting them use that space to their advantage and forcing shit. Shlee is five foot two, I think. She's a little bit shorter than I am. I just realized I didn't put your songs in, but no worries. Um, if I didn't put your song in, you will be getting your channel points back. Uh, you won't be getting scammed to your points. Yo, let's go, Cold Snappy. I should have had that. Fuck me. Let's go, Cold Snappy W. I thought you had mechs. Hi, Alice. How are you? You came to watch the last game of stream. Wh what? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Gooners on top, baby. Put some, re put some respect. Put some respect, Alice. That's that's Euro twenty twenty four winner winner. Nico Williams to you, baby. Got no keys. All right, all right, all right. This is so unable. Just a bad start. We got this. We got this. You like Nico? Oh, okay. Good then. Good, good, good. I thought you were going to say he's going to Barcelona. And then they would have had Yamal and him. Which would have been pretty cool. Nice. We got this. We got this. What's up, Twitch Sniper? How you doing? You also started using ball cam? Is it is it helping you? Whoa, why did my car just lag so hard on Why did my car lag so hard? Oh. Hi Mercy, how are you? I'm so glad you got to see that. Nice, okay. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. I told you, Cold Snappy, you gotta listen. I'm glad you did. You're gonna keep getting better and better and better. Oh, I almost got that right. OK, 
Okay. Nice, I think. Nice. Let's go, let's go. We're winning this game. It, either, by the way, either way, yeah, this is going to be my last game, win or lose, by the way. I have to get off. It's already five. I need sleepies. Oh, by the way, hey, we are two follows away from the Twitch follow goal for the day. So if any, anyone in here hasn't followed, I would appreciate that. I would appreciate that and let's you'd help me reach the goal. That's all I'm saying. That's literally that's all I'm saying. Let's go. That backflip must have hurt. Oh, you know it did. Alice, that is so wild. They're so racist, they don't even realize they're being racist. Like what it like what is he even trying to say with that statement? Oh, French players are supposed to be white? What what does that even mean? That actually, that actually kind of is like a too far gone moment, genuinely. Oh my god, I went for a double reset. I should have just cleared it up the field. Sorry. Nice, good job. Well played. And the bump, let's go. Baby formula, thanks for the follow. Let's go. Yo, we are one follow away from the follow goal. I'm gonna be hopping off in a couple minutes. So if, if y'all wanna help me with the, if y'all wanna help me with my follow goal, we're one away, I would appreciate that. That's all I'm saying. It's free, it's free. Speaking of something that's also free, don't forget to subscribe on, or uh, subscribe and like on YouTube. I forgot, you can do that too. Subscribe and like the, li the live stream if you're there. Holy shit, that was close. Uh, <laughs> baby, baby formula is bestest, period. I've been saying that. I hate how much I love the name. Gen X, rise up. Rise up, Gen X, and show these is gen z that we don't mess around thanks for playing dark demise you say you hate twos but we just we went like three games positive in twos you know so you know that's a w to me oh not me oh i thought my name was pretty cool too but i guess not my bad you're right fuck me fuck me my fault Also, while you're not while you're subbing on YouTube, be sure to use code code L Paps Gape in the RL shop. What? I mean, like, I don't really encourage people to buy stuff off the Rocket League item shop, to be honest. I'm gonna give you your points back. I'm I'm hopping off. Shut the hell up. I'm not playing any more games. I give your points back. Um, I don't really encourage people to buy stuff off the item shop. I like never talk about it or never talk about my code. But if you are gonna buy something off the item shop and you wanna support me, you can use code PAPS. But again, I never buy stuff off the item shop. I don't encourage it. Uh, you know, it's, yeah. You know what I mean. Um, the, actually, the only item I would ever encourage people to get 
is sugar high because sugar high is crazy. Then put some heat lately, really? Sugar high, I think, is awesome. Everyone always asks me about that decal whenever I get it. Why, dude, why is this decal wasted on, like, why is this not on Octane? They already have Ultra Heat. Why wouldn't they release? Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Okay, do you know how I said I never get stuff off the item shop? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm getting this. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, anyway. That's pretty. I like that. <laughs> Keep in mind that uh, I get supplied all my rocket passes for free by Epic Games. I have to, I, I do have to mention that every time I do it. Shout out to Epic Games for giving me free items and free rocket passes. So anytime you see me using like DLC or anytime I have a rocket pass, it's because it's because Epic Games gives them to me for free. So again, shout out Epic Games, hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored. So I have extra credits that I've like, like, look, look how many credits I have. I don't buy, I don't buy credits ever. And I have 4,000. So, you know, the decal was only 300 credits, so why not use it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. oh, it's blocked by the song overlay. Uh, one sec. I, I, I like, I don't, I never, I have never bought credit. Well, that's a lie. I have, have I bought credits? I've bought eSport tokens, but I'm not sure if I've ever, I think the only time I bought credits was for the first Rocket Pass ever. And ever since then, I've been using the free credits to get, um, to get the next Rocket Pass. So I've, I bought one Rocket Pass. And then I think all the other credits I have are from trading. And I, I literally, like I said, I never, I never buy stuff. So they've just built up over time. Also, because I get free rocket passes from Epic Games, all of those free credits that I get is why I have 4,000. Anyway. Um, We get it, you're rich. I know I'm not queuing anymore, pal. I'm getting off. I'm not getting baited into playing more games. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. YouTube, appreciate you. Love you. Yo, what's up? K Queso. Uh yo, Queso Vinny. I'm at nine out of ten on the follow goal. Yo, if you want to drop a follow, I'm hopping off right now, but if you want to get the follow goal for the stream, that would be pretty epic. So that's all I'm saying. Yo, golf claps, golf claps for Queso Vinny. Wait, is that an emote? Hold on. Yo. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. And let's go. Right as we end stream, I get the follow goal, baby. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know why it doesn't say I... I I'm pretty certain that I got subs today. I got, I'm pretty sure I got at least a couple primes. No, am I tripping? Yeah, Kronos, Kronos sub with a prime. So why does that say zero? Uh, hold on. Um... That's strange. I don't, 
I don't know why that uh I'm not sure why that says zero still, but either way, it doesn't matter. I I don't care. I could care less about I care more about hitting the follow goal and stuff than I do about that one. Close one. Duck oh, don't worry, Dark Demise. I clipped it. But honestly, I'll probably feature that clip. Hey, by the way, so if y'all if y'all um if y'all didn't know, uh nowadays, Twitch uh Twitch allows you to feature clips, which in turn they push out they push out feature clips like into the algorithm so that they get more views and therefore potentially get more people on your channel. And also, um, I can go in and I can put them in a vertical format as well. And I don't know if y'all have like been on the Twitch mobile app or whatever recently. But they made it so you can like actually scroll through like clips of random channels that they recommend to you based on your following and what you watch. So like, um, you know, I I do always appreciate when y'all not only clip stuff, but if you like name the clip like what it's relevant to. Um, when you name the clip what it's relevant to, it makes it like I I can easily just feature that clip and and it like will will uh in turn help my twitch channel so i i really do appreciate when y'all do take the time to clip stuff and do take the time to you that you think is funny good whatever just know that i really do appreciate that and i'm very thankful that y'all take the time to do that because obviously you don't need to um never something that i would expect but i do appreciate it anyway with that being said it's time for me to hop off and show Greer some love. Yeah, trust me. Uh, Zylo, I appreciate your, your clips. Dark Demise, I appreciate that clip. Any of y'all, any of you that have ever taken clips, I really, really do appreciate that because even though you might be clipping it for yourself to watch back or something, it also in turn helps me out. So thank you. Pab shows their true. There, there you go. Red line clip. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for helping me out. Thanks for helping me hit the follow goal. Um, again, I don't know why the sub goal never updated. I'll I'll look into uh. I'll look into why that, I think it's worked in the past. I think it was like working last stream. So I'm not quite sure why it was not working today. Because it should be. Um, but if it's not working uh, next stream too, I will um, definitely look into to fixing that. And like change the metric or whatever. But okay. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, thanks for our great stream. I again, I look forward. I look forward to not only being a more positive, productive person off of stream and with how I communicate with people, with how I with my relationships, but I also look to being a more positive, productive person on stream too. Like from that political conversation that we had earlier, I think I did a pretty good job at like containing myself and conveying myself in a way that you know, really wasn't toxic and conveying myself in a way where I was able to explain what I meant without being like too emotional and without being too aggressive and combative. I don't know if, if, if that's the case, but I felt like I did a pretty good job. I just had to end the raid for a second there. But oh yeah. Bye YouTube. Appreciate you. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so YouTube's in bed. I just tucked them in. Um, um, but yeah, so keep that in mind too. I do can't believe Paps got a lemon M during a heartwarming moment. <laughs> I do look, but seriously, I do look forward to being a positive, productive person on and off a of stream. I'm gonna try my best to not, you know, um, I'm not. I'm gonna try my best, especially when people aren't bigots and stuff, like 
and like saying like transphobic shit or homophobic shit or you know shit that like obviously like i'm not gonna fucking tolerate that obviously that's never gonna change but i'm gonna try still i'm gonna try to be a more a person that is more productive and and more less toxic with how i convey stuff and one that's gonna be better to actually like you know, convincing people of what I'm saying. And two, it's going to be just better for the overall vibes of stream if I kind of like can reel myself in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But otherwise, great stream. We got some dubs, good vibes. Some some old homies came back, which is super nice. And I'm super grateful that they made the decision to come back to stream. It's so nice. And I look forward to hopefully playing with them in the future too. Because um, I have missed my old friends, you know. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Show her some love. Drop her a follow. And I'll see you next stream. Until then, love you. Bye.